to the so rare live stream. Oh, I could, I could have yawned like one minute ago, you know, and not have to. Well, I suppose there's six people here right now. It doesn't matter so much. But here we are. We are. How is everyone doing? Are you ready for the game week? For the ensuing game week? Is everybody ready? Or not? What's up, Julie? How you doing? Of course, next week we don't have these things, do we? We just have Continental Nights. I don't even know if that's what I want to put in. Um, the All-Star, the Under-23, the Cat Modes. Nice game week. Not really. Like, it is. It is, right? Um... Can still come as low as second in this one. Who who is it that has the uh, capabilities? The contender in season. Rare. Vision four. This guy got and gad you. He's on 346. This guy's got no chance, no chance, no chance. It's just Ngadju. I must be projected. Oh, he's projected third. Wow. He only needs 77 points. Actually, he only needs about 71 points from Ngadju to, uh, to come first with that percentage bonus, which is entirely possible. So uh, we're, not, we're not super secure just yet. It's concerning how cheap cards are. Yeah, so Padigal, right? Let's let's start let's start with this, right? In the new world of so rare, my game week is incredible because of exactly what Padigal says. You can buy a full MLS collection for around sixty euros. Like it is cheap, but it is almost as intended from so like it's it's better for so rare this way due to the fact that it is way more accessible for your general punter, for your general person. Bergie, thanks for the five months, man. And uh, Cameron Boyle, thanks for the 12 months, brother. One whole year. I appreciate that. Um, yeah, like, you know, the fact that you can come in and spend 20 or 30 euros and have a couple of teams to field each game week and get involved and have a chance. You know, if you spend like 30 or $40 and you win, Five dollars or eight dollars. You're like you're loving that. I haven't had Twitch notice for a couple of days for some reason. Yeah, I, I have a problem with Twitch, where it wants me to like review and accept updated uh, agreements and terms. And every time I click on it, it gives me like this little Twitch ghost, um, as if the page doesn't exist. And so I thought, oh, maybe it's like a cookies problem or whatever. So I went on Incognito, signed in on there instead. Same issue. So I can't accept whatever they want me to review because it won't let me. I've reached out to Twitch support. Alas, they do not get back. And I wonder if that's what's causing it. Thanks to you, I can bear to play EAFC, but I enjoy the ride. I only played FIFA 18 before. After that, I've heard 19 was the worst. Time is a weird thing. It is, yeah. Surely they prefer Rare and Bappe selling for 20k. I was banging for their wallets. But that was when there was how many Mbappes, right? Now that there's 10 times more Mbappes selling for 10 times, you know, 10%. This, this, like, I think what they would rather, especially with how many divisions you can play Mbappe in next season, you're going to be able to play an old season Mbappe in 12 competitions. At rare level. So one person can have 12 rare Mbappes. 
actually, because he'll be at Real Madrid, you can play him at eight, in 18 competitions. The, the, old, the, the classic Mbappe. Now, there's how much supply is there. There's only 260 cards. All it takes is three or four whales to actually be like, yeah, do you know what? I want 10 Mbappes. And all of a sudden, that's 20, 25, 30% of the market share of Mbappe completely gone. And that will drive his price up. I, I think this, like, I think this interim period is obviously as well, like, you know, we have so many other tournaments that won't be there eventually. The cat modes, the all-star modes, <clears throat> those sort of things that are going to go. Those prizes and cash are going to get redistributed as well. Um, champ, yeah, but you could play champ. Sorry, yeah, champ Europe, La Liga. Yeah, that's 12, right? Um, and then the, cla the classic, yeah, I don't know where I got the other three from. That's my bad. Yeah, you're, you're right. It's just La Liga and Champ Europe. <clears throat> um, and then, should you be so inclined, you can also play him in the rare Mbappe and limited. Right? So, one thing that's interesting about Mbappe's price, because I was looking at a rare Mbappe and I was thinking, Jesus, like, is in seasons like a nice price? I don't mind it. What I was most surprised about was how expensive his limited is comparative to his rare. Like his limited is selling for nearly 300 pounds. And yet his rare is only selling for 1300 pounds. And I think that's a prime example of where the site is going to go. Because usually we'd look at at least 10x, especially for a player like Mbappe more, which means in theory, Mbappe's rare price should be 3k, 4k, right? I do agree. Yeah, they now prefer 100 user spending £100 than one user spending 10 k Yeah, precisely that. And, and just because there's just so much more that one user... Like, getting that user hooked in, you know, you, let, let, let's find somebody in... Uh, let's find somebody in um, Premier League Division 5. Let's see if we can find a, um, a person with, like, a real small gallery. Not him. Yeah, this guy. Okay. So this guy's got Magic Bob. Okay, he's actually got 1.3 gallery. That's probably too much. Okay, this guy looks perfect, actually. Yeah, this guy's got a 0.1 ETH gallery, right? He's now going to win or come third in Premier League Classic, which is going to get him a tier one that's probably worth a very reasonable amount. How has he got... Oh, because it's classic. Why has he got three in seasons in classic? Probably because he just joined the site and that's who he bought. Fair enough. Um, and then he's got his all star limited team and his Cap 20 limited team. And fair to say, those teams are terrible. He's only got 40 cards. He's probably going to win a reward like worth a really hev heavy amount compared to the rest of his gallery, right? And this is why it's so much better for EA, EA for so rare to have the prices so low because this guy's now going to win something that's going to make him want to build a fourth and a fifth lineup and then proof of concept is applied he now knows that he can win because he has which will then encourage him further to be like do you know what let me go in for an, a second premier league team and a third premier league team let me go in for a champion team let me go in for a contenders team and that and that's that's what they want they want one person having hundreds of cards rather than hundreds of people having few cards. Like, what I like is how stable that Mbappe graph is, quite refreshing. Yeah, and that's what I mean. I, I, like, I genuinely think like, that's kind of where we're at. Yeah, that for a one-month period, obviously, prior to that, we'll have the, um, the kind of news. But even prior to that, like over the course of the last three months, those fluctuations are not unbearable. You know, there is, unless you bought here, at 466, which was number one anyway, so you knew what you was doing. But unless you bought here and then looked at the price point here, that you could be like, oh my God, Bappe's lost so much. But if you actually just look at in season, is it going to change? Want to give me some 24 season cards? These are the new season cards. So the first initial bit of hype. I don't know what this would have been for. And then, yeah, since like February, it's just been stable, super stable. And it is nice. 
and you expect that little boom at the start, like, um, and that that is really good. If it was just a, another downward trajectory continuously, you'd be worried. However, obviously, he doesn't have too many games left now. He got three, six, eight games left before the uh, the Euros. You might you might expect to see his price point start curtailing a little bit as his utility drops a little bit. I wonder if there are other players like me that just buy cards and play them to try and win, but never cash out or sell them. Just keep the cards forever. What's up, Quinny Pal? Um, you, you're kind of looking at somebody that just refuses to sell cards or purchased items for some reason. I have 432 rares, and I probably use around 50 of them. A lot of them are like... A lot, a lot of them are like um, for collection bonus, collection score. And that would be like a really nice thing to have. I know it probably is on the so rare data priorities list, but it's very, probably not very high. But I'd love to be able to like click on a card. Like, let me find uh, somebody that's like a um, like th this uh, this Michael Nelson. I might have actually bought him because I expected him. I think he I think he ended up disappearing, didn't he? I bought him just in case he got. I wanted to like hedge my bets with the uh, goalkeepers. But if we like find somebody that I bought as a literal. Um, collection like collection bonus card. Let's let us let us take the Arsenal guys, right? Let's take. Uh, oh no, these guys here. There you go. So Ahmed Musa, right? He doesn't play anymore. Yield Dream doesn't play anymore. I would love a function, right? I would love a function on here that where we could just click on something and just hide card in gallery, like you know, or hide card due to collect, like because I only want to really see, and especially when building lineups. I only want to see cards that I care about. So when it comes to how many lineups that I save, when it comes to like a lineup here, I want to be able to hide players. I want to be able to come to, you know, okay, Brunette has got a really tough matchup. Maybe he hasn't, he's going to start. But for example, let's say he has a really tough matchup. I want to, like, there's a plus sign there. I just want a little minus sign. I just want to click on a little minus sign, get rid of him. I don't want to see him. I want to kind of like filter it down to my favorite options. Why not sell the cards you don't use, though? Um, so, the reason why is because I'm a hoarder. No, because... I, I like my brain. Let, let's take Jonas... And, and listen, I know Mbappe is £1,300. And so, that side of things is where it is, right? When I won Jonas Hoffman... Which one did I win first? I guess this one. When did I win him? The 10th of the 3rd, 2023. Maybe I won the other Jonas Hoffman first. Actually. Oh, no, no. Yeah, that was 2023. The 3rd of the 10th, even. So the 3rd of the 10th. So October, I won Jonas Hoffman, right? If we look at his price point in October when I won him, literally October the 10th, I could have sold him for about five or six hundred pounds, maybe five hundred pounds, and I didn't. And the reason why I didn't is because I believed that he was going to score really, really well, and he's just kind of been outcasted by Leverkusen. He's now just a bit part player as a sub, doesn't even play every game, and he's worth forty-two pounds. Now I get it. Back here, Mbappe was probably worth about four or five grand. And so, comparatively, he's still probably a, a very equivalent percentage to Mbappe now as to what, when he was there. As if we're using like Mbappe as the benchmark of the price points, right? But when I see this graph like this, I find it extremely hard to sell because my my mind goes to: Is there really any more downside for someone like Jonas Hoffman? And the answer is no, because he's at forty two pounds, whilst not playing and not scoring well when he does play. And so I sit here and think, if he gets a transfer in the summer, he's likely to get better points and then therefore be more expensive. And so in the meantime, I'll just hold on to him because I don't really need the £40. Pounds. Um, and that's the situation that I have with an insane, insane amount of my cards is uh, I don't need to sell them, so I won't. And 
my one of my great fears is kind of selling at the bottom. You know, I bought so high so many cards. The last thing I want to do is be like, oh, let me just sell everything now when the market is the lowest it's been since I joined the site. And then in like six months or 12 months time, the, uh, the market's like tripled or 4x. And I'm sitting here going like, oh man, why didn't I just hold, hold on? <laughs> you know, I didn't need the money. I don't need the money. Like fortunately enough, the, the, I'm winning enough each week to still be able to provide myself with um, cash in the game to play with. So, oh my God, look at me, Mr. Podium. We've got a first and a second in 465, although this might become a second and a second. We've got second place in champion in season rare there. 463, I won 163 quid of cash there from cap 240. 462, another podium there in cap 270. L uh, Langrak had the, the flu, I believe, Colin. In 461, not so much cash, but a load of cards. In 460, 100 pound in cash in there as well from All Star Rare Plus. Jesus Christ. And then I think it went to the internationals, didn't it? But do you know what's mad? Like, like obviously, some of this isn't the new style of content. It is a little bit because it's got the Premier League in season stuff, right? But I much, much, much prefer winning something every game week than winning nothing for lots of game weeks and then a big thing one every you know every third or fourth or fifth game week. Um, you know, seeing these it, like this is kind of where it was a bit older, I guess. Look at all these lineups that just won nothing. Opposed to like... This isn't the new system, is it? Is it here? Opposed to like here, where it's like 60 quid of cash, a tier 3 rare, and a load of boxes. Same for me. It gives you a sense of purpose each game. It, I, I, I genuinely feel, feel like it does. Um, a, a, a so, rare, so rare tracking podiums now. Can I see how many... Uh, any podiums of here? The pro history. Look, honestly, isn't that the most triggering thing you've ever seen in your life? What's up, Channy pal? Yeah, yeah, Channy. It's a bit of a bit of a weird game week, isn't it? Isn't that the most triggering thing you've seen in your life? Fourteen second places to three first places. Uh, I have the YouTube channel, King Flipper. Who gets a bit disheartened not winning anything for a few game weeks? Yeah, the box. Well, I, th I think. Did you get anything out of your boxes before, Julie? Look at that. What game week that was. Podium as a podium, not to be, do, absolutely, and, and I'm, I'm hoping. Uh, and Gadju just drops no more than sort of like 65 points today, so that I maintain first here. Although to be fair, in the cash prize tournaments, because there's no like star down to a tier one, it it would be a little bit painful to lose that 134 down to 94. But it's not the end of the world. It's still like a really nice return. I assume with your collections, this game isn't as hard to come by. Yeah, so I've I've got I've I've just got a lot, Channy, for this week. Obviously, I've got all of the Arsenal, all of the Arsenal boys. It'd be easier to do uh, six scores, won't it? Let's do game week games. So I've got, I think Kenneth Powell might be injured, but Powell and Colback. Uh, Bobby Thomas, the full Arsenal collection, uh, a, a decent Man City five as well. I, I feel like Edison might be playing today as well. Or, yeah, tonight. Um, we've got heavy New England set up now, heavy Tigres set up. We've got massive PSG and Barcelona set ups. Of course, it doesn't help that they've got tough games. So it's like, you know, it's like a lottery of which player scores well and which player doesn't. Um, then we've got the big Monterey and Inter Miami set up. 
and a few like little bits dotted about here and there as well. Got a fair few by Leverkusen players, full Liverpool set up, fair few Benfica players, full LDU Quito set up. Although I don't know who's better here between Liga de Quito and Botafogo. And then uh, a full uh, Urara Reds set up at the end as well. So for a midweek like this, it, like it's just going to come down to whether or not I can actually pick the right players. Yeah, three players to get under 50 points in the lineup this game week. Still choose 25. I've got a few really fun lineups like that. But it also goes to show one of the other issues, not issues, one of the other things with these sort of lineups, right? So my Premier League Classic season rare, I'm finishing 22nd, six points away from uh, the Tier 5. I put this lineup together very, very, very much under the assumption that Edison might not play that also Bissouma might not play, and that also Gabriel Jesus might not play. So I'm not. it's going to be nice to get a couple of boxes from it. But I've now wasted, quote-unquote wasted, a Division 4 lineup that is now going to get promoted to Division 3, and all I got from it was a couple of boxes. Whereas if I actually put in a strong team here, I only needed, well, 370 points to get on the podium, and that would have been three boxes and a Tier 2, and that's not a lot of points. Um, so I have, I also have, uh, another lineup where I've managed to snag like 20, 20 pounds or something. Where is it? Yeah, this one, this is an awful lineup for 20 quid, but it's really good again, isn't it? It's like, yeah, okay. I'm, you know, I've, I'm actually a fair, fair way away of points for the next one, but a 34, a 41, Takaoka come up good, Portuguese did good, but captain on 52. 20 quid for this lineup. Just nice. Just nice. And, and I again think it's things like this that will actually allow the site to flourish over time. You know, once pick, because like a new, a new user that joins the site doesn't know that even port use was probably like 300 quid one day. You know, if we, if we got all time. I mean, look at that. 900 pounds, 800 pounds, 800 pounds. Even like as recent as 2022. Look at that. Even September 2023, his in-season cards here, 200 quid and whatnot. And now he's like 12 pounds. If you join the site today, you haven't got a clue that he used to be here. You just know what his price is now. And now you look at it and you think, okay, I can buy it. Okay, the goalkeeper might be a bit expensive. But you can buy a whole bunch of outfielders that don't even need to perform too well for 20 quid here, 10 quid there, you know, maybe a 30 quid player that's a bit more of a star, and you can win 20 quid in cash back. And it's like, yeah, okay, you've still got the cards, you can still re-enter. It's a lot more appealing in that regard. And as I say, I think it's, it's good for the side going forwards, but it's not insane amounts of scores to win those low-tier prizes. This is my third game week getting a cash reward. This new system feels a lot better. It, it does feel a lot better. I think it just needs time to, to get. I think it needs time to become like the new thing. Right, I actually do need to do lineups though, guys, even though we haven't got too, too many to build this time around. I do need to start them. So, what am I going to start with? Do I have Continental Knights Super Rare? Does anybody, I've looked this morning twice as well, actually. Does anybody have any news on when Guzman is expected back? It's like one of those weird ones where it just, it says that he's okay, but we obviously know that he's not. What are you doing so rare? It's like fantasy football, Leo. Yeah, exactly that, Davis. I agree with you entirely. It was like two months out, expected to be out for the season. Oh, because they've only got like four games left. Five, six, well, League's Cup as well, but although that League's Cup is in August. So he's expected to miss the rest of the season. That's really tough. And with his age now at 38, is there any news on him retiring? Like, because if, if there's, you know, this is one of those situations where if there's even a sniff of him retiring, I'd rather sell him now. I've got two of them. I can get 120 quid for the pair of them, maybe 100 quid for the pair of them. I'd rather get rid of him and just go and buy a new goalkeeper. But if he's expected to stay on for another season or two, um, 
I would keep him. How does the site make money if you just keep paying out when you win? I don't understand. Uh, from the auctions. So if you want to buy cards, you got to spend the money on all the players. Yeah, I know the Mexican predictions are not coming in anymore. It's a bit of a, a bit of an annoyance, to be fair. I'm, I'm very, I am very tempted to sell the Guzmans. The Super Air is the more painful one. I guess there might not be any up on auction. have some uh, roll of tissue please yeah please it's empty yeah i just only had water in it i open it They were moved somewhere called So Rare Probabilities. Interesting. Why are your comments being deleted? Uh, literally zero comment has been deleted, my man. Trust me, they just did. Well, tr trust me. You're literally banning or blocking anyone that says even the slightest thing you don't agree with. Brother. Look. This is the chat here, right? This is the chat. Now, this comment from Cyrus got held because he said, stop being a twat. This is you. At swallow me, whatever your name is. There is zero comments blocked or deleted. Zero. Another one from Cyrus. Cyrus needs a little bit of a, little bit of a telling off. There's none. There is none, not a single one from the very first comment of the stream. Not a single one. Brother, you can brother me all you like. You can literally see here. And if you're going to say, oh, you obviously deleted it. Watch what happens when I hide a comment. You can still see that the comment was there. Right? You can still see that the comment was there. So obviously I'm not hiding anything, am I? Because you would see that I've deleted it. You always reply to these guys? Uh, no, that's not true. This guy is just a troll? He is, he is. He's trolling. Kind of started. It's like, like, I just don't even know what he thinks he said. Click on his profile and see. Another one gone. Then what, what is happening is YouTube, not me, but YouTube, is stopping your messages from coming through. Because obviously, whatever you're typing is against YouTube policy. Not because I don't agree with you. Oh, my bad, dude. Yeah, you're bad. Exactly. You're bad. Didn't say anything bad, though. Not for me to decide, mate, is it? Am I looking forward to the Arsenal game tonight? I'm, nerv I'm nervous. I'm nervous. I, I would like to hope that we could beat Byron. Projected lineups. Raya, White, Saliba, Gabriel, Tommy Asu. I love that back line. Honestly, I think Tommy Asu is uh, probably our, well, like, I don't want to say our best defensive fullback, but he probably is. Until Timbers back next season and can play in that role, 
I think Tommy Asu there is is grand. I, I, I wouldn't start with that team, though. I would absolutely start with Kai Havertz up front again uh, and Jorginho in midfield. And whether that's Martinelli or Jesus missing out, I don't really care. But I think Kai Havertz has got to start up top. And then if that's... Bar so one of the good things about that Bayern team is Neuer's just come back from injury. Eric Dyer's garbage. The Lick's been hit and miss since he's been at Bayern. Conrad Limer is okay. Um, Guerrero, if he starts as well, has been kind of in and out of the team. Goretzka's quality. Kimmich's quality. Sané and Coman are quality. Musiala and Kane are quality. But that Bayern team is... We, we could expose their defensive frailties for sure. Have Bayern got no fans here, have they? How come? Between Jesus and Martinelli and Tommy and Kivior for me, everyone else is nailed. Yeah, I, but, but you, I, I obviously think, I, I personally think Jorginho, this is like a, a prime Jorginho game, this is. They did stuff, oh, throwing stuff on the pitch against Lazio. Has Coman been injured as well? So he's coming back from injury too. So they've got Coman, Guerrero, Dyer, and Neuer, who aren't regular starters. But yeah, I mean, when I look at the two teams, I believe we can, we can win. You got a one two five in draft online. GG's for you. Uh, this is Josh. One two sevens are what we're looking for these days. But yeah, I'm I'm I'm, I'm some, somewhat somewhat excited and prepared. Right, so Continental Knights at Super Rare. I don't have a goalkeeper. What division am I in? Oh, there is no division, right? Does it show how many uh, people have entered? Two hundred and seventy-one entries, one hundred boxes. Damn, that might be worth putting a four-man team in there. To be fair, mightn't it? Probably unexpected that. Uh... I'll see. I'll see what super rares I've got left, because I obviously can put super rares into the uh, into the rare teams. Well, I might not even have. Um, do I have an under forty? See, I don't even have like a. Where is Langerak? It's not part of Continental Knights, obviously. Um, what Mauricio oh he came back last game did he against River did he get 90 minutes he did he got 62 minutes hmm Orha doing well. Diaz with another 84. They rotated. He, he's been injured, though. It, it would just be... I don't, I don't know if he'd be expected to start. We could put Gressel in for sure. Saying that I don't have... So Goriaran could go in for sure. That's the under. Brandon Bathketh or Marquinhos, who's actually expected to play. Gustavo Bo, look at that as well. Finally got a start. And off the back of that start, scored a goal. they just got to start starting him more, haven't they? Ineos and Erdegaard. And then Guzman. That's, I think that fits within the requirements. Do you know what? Of how many super rares I've got, probably could do. Another one. 
I want no gameplay very much. Mauricio Martinez is the under 40. Declan Rice is the over. Brandon Bathkev. We've got the under 40. We've got the one over 60. And have another on over 55. Gabriel Majales. Damn. I mean, I might as well throw these teams in here, right? With no goalkeeper anyway. If I could even get like a, a box out of one of these. Guzman is contracted till 2025. So let's hope he stays on. I think a lot will run DMP goalkeeper in that Super Air 1, myself included. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah, so it, kind of, it, kind of, it does kind of make sense to give myself... So unfortunately, Clark's going to take up one of those 55 plus slots. So I'll pop Ben White in for the 60 plus. That's the second 55 plus. We could pop in Kai Havertz. And Thomas Party probably. Savo Bo. I, I only have Thomas Party available in the in the third slot. I mean, it's not necessarily like world beta teams, but I'm actually half tempted to put Goriaron in instead of Mauricio Martinez. Because I feel like that team has probably got the best chance of a, a reward. Gabriel Rice. But the problem with this team here is if Martinez doesn't play as well, it's going to be bad. And here, if Marquinhos doesn't actually start, it's going to be bad. Here, I don't think Thomas Partey will start, but I definitely think he's got potential to get minutes. Don't have enough super rare goalkeepers. Yeah, I'm going to put Boriaron in here. And who was it? Was Declan Rice? And we're still going to Captain Rice. And then in here, we refresh. Oh, it's so weird sometimes, isn't it? Warriors predicted to start as an attack in mid. Is he actually? It's it's where he needs to play. Like I don't know why they haven't played him there anyway. And then we can pop Odegaard into this midfield role here. And then our extra be Mauricio Martinez. Because he's the only person we've got to fit there. And that's definitely, other than Odegaard, that's definitely more of a punty lineup. Marquinhos, Martinez and Gressel, all reasonably punty. Um, and then White and Havertz, Bo. I've got anyone to fit in instead of Nancy. No, Party's like the under, the under thirty. It's such a shame I don't have a goalkeeper for it. Like you know, if I had the under forty goalkeepers, there'd be uh, these teams could look way better. But I don't. Now what I've got to do is because I put those in there, I've got to go ahead and put these in in here now. So we are going with Guzman. Who did I put with Guzman? Gressel. Odegaard, Marquinhos and Martinez. Why have they not got Marquinhos here? Should have him in a save lineup. Guzman, Gressel, Odegaard. May maybe a bit of a waste on Odegaard. Marquinhos and Martinez. He got minutes in the last game. He should be back for some uh, some game time there, shouldn't he? You'd be surprised if Marquinhos doesn't start. Yeah, he's, I know. I know he's like getting some like decisive and stuff. Like it's the sort of thing for me where I'm like, okay, he made it to Arsenal, and he started getting some game time for us, and then obviously he went out on loan and it didn't work out, and now he's gone out on loan again. And I'm kind of like, if he made it to Arsenal and got minutes with the first team 
surely in Brazil he's going to be like way, way, way better than the average. Um, so then we've got Continental Super Rare Knights 2. We're going to have no goalkeepers. Good. Well, I suppose if they're not showing up, it just doesn't matter, does it? I could just put in. So we've got Ben White, Kai Havert, Gustavo Bo, Thomas Partey. It's more just to get them out of the uh, like lineup builder for when I'm doing the rare lineups. I got banned in your stream for no reason. Can you sort that out, please? My Twitch is LELC32. Let's see, Mr. No Reason. You know what? I absolutely agree with you. Josh XL is just banning people left, right, and center for a seemingly no reason. Should I complete Cantona or SEN? Should I do Cantona? Damn, Josh XL's guy guy is savage, isn't he? You spotted that? It, it, it must have been like a misclick when trying to ban somebody else. Which means somebody who should have been banned is still walking the streets. Oh dear. That's not what we want, is it? <laughs> All right. Who, who else did we put? We put Gabriel Majales with Goriaran with Brandon Bathketh and Declan Rice. Bosh. All right, that's a super res. Done, quote unquote. Continental Knights are rare. Here we go, right. This is where it gets a bit intense, isn't it? So what are the rules? One forty or lower, two fifty fives or above, and so two fifty fours or below. So I think Kelleher as one of the fifty fours and below. And I probably want to pair him with a man, uh, sorry, Liverpool defender, the Van Dyke, as one of the 55s and above. I would need a 40 or below. And have a look at who my best 40 or below is. Gori Aron's probably one of the best shouts, actually. Oh, if Alvarado starts for Liga de Quito, that'd be quite nice as a 40 or below. And that's literally all I've got. One Alvarado who's only projected to start. One got two got. Oh, hold on, that's uh, everyone. Let's go and have a look at my 40 or blows properly. So we've got Chiburco, who's actually doing it. Hasn't he been like a little bit more consistent in the starting lineup? Yeah, he has this season. So Chebs is in there. Oriar on twice is really nice. Alvarado's there. Richard Mina is there. Although against his old club, boo. Sabe is potentially going to start for Bruges. Rafael Silva. Oh, if he starts for uh, Cruzeiro, that would be amazing. Has he actually been playing for them yet? He got 19 minutes off the bench in his first game. I want to see if he was playing in that, uh, that the games before the official league. Like, did he play here or here? You got 20 minutes here. Doesn't really look like it. Dineno should be the one, you think. But he is a good option. A, just in case he starts. Or B, if he comes off the bench against Alianza Petrolera, I'd be gassed. Oh, that's, honestly, 
Um, that gives me some decent options in that kind of like L15 under 40. I think the first one that we're going to have to use twice is going to be Gori Aron. So we'll pop Gori in number one. Sad that Alvarado seems to have lost his place. Yeah, it's because I bought him. My bad. Uh, Mike, thanks for the eight months, man. Much appreciated, bro. So we've got one over. So I need one big player again, which I could either use as Idrissi. Are you going to start? Didn't they win the first game like 5 0? Why is he going to start this game if they, uh, if they smash 5 0? Is it because the season's coming to an end, so there's no point? Yeah, they've literally just got a few games left. There's no point not using him, potentially. What What are they... Uh, what are we doing, Pachuca? Where are they in the league? They've still got a chance of winning the league. Surely they would... Uh... Surely they would... Um... Focus more on the league. I have got Marchese in under 40. Correct, yeah. Marchese in 50-50 to start. Well, he started the last game, didn't he? So, Yeah, see, they won the first game 5-0. There's no way that they're going to field their strongest team against these guys when they're basically already through, right? Maybe I play Salah here and go for like the, the, the full kind of like Liverpool setup. Is Lever going to be? Oh, he's suspended. Mohamed Salah's getting back there, isn't he? Since he's come back from injury, a 100, a 64, a 50, and a 78. It's good from him. Like his scores are just banging, aren't they? I feel like now for Liverpool, they'll, they'll focus on this tournament as well, won't they? Yeah, Lever suspended in the league, oh yeah. So my options are Hulk, for some reason is a B, Salah, Suarez, who I don't really fancy, or Idrissi, who... I'm not sure he'll start. Alternatively, I can go for a lesser player. Like a Dil Ro like oh, do you know what? If New England are gonna rotate heavily and Dil Rosen starts, he could be an absolute shoe in for a big score. That guy that was banned, my Twitch glitched because it showed him sending the same message like 20 times in a row. Oh, fair enough. And again, they don't have much by way of the rest of the season. Dilly dilly. Bill Rosen, man. Um, like, do I just play safe and put Salah in here? Like, do, like Brunetta, Idrissi, and Dil Rosen all have mad potential. But I think Salah will start. And then that leaves me needing a 54 or below. Which would be... Hakimi is out. Why is Hakimi out? Did he get injured in that last game? He got subbed on. 100% guaranteed to be out of the team. Is he suspended, is he? It's just not showing it. Okay. So we've got Hakimi. Piovi. He's doing well at the moment. Oz do ever don't like. Alzugaray is more of a sub. Tonsole won't start. Busquets isn't a bad option. Should have a lot of defensive work to do. Brunetta. If he's going to... If Brunetta's going to... Ooh, do you know what? I actually really like that. 
That's a really fun split stack, isn't it? Three Liverpool, two Tigres, all at home, all favourable. And apparently it's going to have Br Brunetto and Goriaran up behind Gignac today. I actually think that's a class, class team. Especially given the fact we've got the restrictions of like the, the points and stuff. Um, so Kelleher in first. Virgil van Dijk. Goriaran. Goriaran. Whatever his name is. Salah. Mo Salah. Salah. And then Brunetta. And a captain, Mohamed Salah. That is a fantastic lineup. You done a split stack of River and Tigres yourself? Yeah, see, I could do River as well. And, so, like, put, so I, I could put Armani in because he's obviously got a great matchup. Is Paolo Diaz going to play? Because that Armani Paolo Diaz connection there, okay, it's both of my over 55s taken. That would again allow, allow us to put in a Goriaran in midfield. Um, and then I would need 254 or unders. That's a shame that Dembele is just above the cusp, although it's not going to be an easy game for him anyway. We've got Tiquinho, tough game against Liga de Quito. Gabriel Martinelli could be a fun one to put in there. Oh, Marquinhos actually could be a banging one to put in there. And then one more 55 or less. Sorry, 54 or less. POV, Busquets, Samir. Could go with Samir. Could go with another like little Tigres setup. Corioran and Samir. Although, you know, Columbus crew have got a good attack. Give you I'm not interested in. Kochu is done out here now. Rodriguez, Jordi Alba. If Szymanski starts... Wow, Olympiacos are favourites, Jesus. We've got Gressel. Neres I'm not really interested in. Is Sifuentes... He went to Cruzeiro? Damn. He played striker? Surely not. Damn, he played on the right wing. And they gave him 90 minutes. That's mad. Morris is banned, which is massive. Mate, is Jose Cifuentes expected to start this game? Because they've got a massively favourable matchup. Zero lineup. Twenty percent chance to start in midfield. So he's not expected to start. Mad that Barrial went there as well, isn't it? Man, Cruzeiro have actually got a mad little, uh, mad little team, haven't they? Rafael Bilu is that the uh, the striker? Coach just got fired for losing the final against Atletico. Jesus. He didn't start in the league game, so I would say yes. But you, you think... Yeah, see, I, I don't want to risk it with like a, a, a non-starter. If I've got starter options, like guaranteed starter options, I, would, like, I think Cifuentes could be a big option there. But alternatively, I like Martinelli as well. <laughs> I don't really like Tiquinho. Away from home, reasonably tough game. Don't expect Kivior to start. Samir at home, 
the Tigres could be could be a good a good fit. He was out of the team lock, man. Look at that. He, he, you just again just not even guaranteed to start. Bus gets is okay. Piovi, I don't mind. He's been in reasonably good form this season. Even got 15 AA against Universitario as well. Five starters is half the job midweek. Yes. Gr Gr Gressel's okay. Where did I have Gressel? I think I've got the midfield version of Gressel left. Yeah, see, I don't mind Gressel. The thing that concerns me about Gressel is all of their other signings, you know, like Alba, Messi, Suarez, Busquets have been rested. Gressel hasn't. Maybe that's because he's you know, not 75 years old. It's actually very comparable defending the midfield scores. But the problem with Gressel is, look, he, he almost, almost never lasts 90 minutes. Who have Delphine got? You know what? They've got a home game. Belgrano. Now Angulo though. <laughs> oh, he didn't even play the last game. Is he injured? I don't know. Or did he get rested because of the game against Belgrano? Mate, his 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 appearances so far in this competition have been fantastic. I'd rather probably rather use him in like the net, the third lineup, which would be a bit more of a punty lineup. It's, it's such pain as well that he's 41. It feels like a waste using a 41 player. What have I got available? I've got the 40 or lower. I've got the two overs. I need a mid. I need a 54. How many squads am I putting in? All, all three. I do, do you know what? I do like Busquets. I know Busquets got a lot of, a lot of stick for some of his scores in the early games. But he, did, like, he does get good AA. Champions League has got an assist against Nashville. And then nothing. He did get 12 AA, including a booking against uh, Monterey. Only one away from a double-double as well. Hmm. One player probably better for two forty. Yeah, probably, or even two twenty. I like Samir because he gets synergy with Goriaran. I like Busquets because he's. I just know he's got quality. Acuna Rodriguez is not what he was uh, supposed to become at Liga de Quito. He's just. Quite mid, quite mediocre. So I don't want to use him. Pino's got a tough game away to them. I like Martinelli if he starts, because I reckon Martinelli could have a, a good time against Byron. And I like Sifuentes if he starts. Jose Sosa. Damn, if he starts, he's got a cracking matchup. I didn't put him into a lineup last last game week as well, and he ended up bagging an assist. Oh, he only got forty five minutes. Is that because there was up so much? They're up against the strongest. Sosa is down to start. What was his L fifteen? Forty four. He's just he's so old, isn't he? Just one of those things where it's like. 38 years old for an attacking midfielder. It's just old. But look at these games here where it's like 90 minutes of 
but like nothing, 25 times possession lost. I feel like Sosa's probably better for a cat mode as well. I think I'm going to go with, uh, I think I'm going to go with Gabriel Martinelli. I'm going to captain Paolo Diaz. Armani. Diaz. Gori. Oh, nice. Yeah, my done. Martinez and Martinelli up front. Dil Rosen. I, I think I'd prefer to put Dil Rosen in a... Um, oh, I could put Martin Odegaard in here. No, I can't. Um, I think I'd prefer to put Dil Rosen... In a cap lineup. And then Continental Knights. Save that. Continental Knights 3. Edison is expected to start. Wow. Although against Real Madrid, it's anyway just a, a, a risky thing. My cheese is up there at 90%. Gremio. Gremio playing. Libertadore. Ah, oh, see, they these have them at fifty fifty. Diego Costa, still playing out there, you know. You wouldn't touch it. Yeah, City goalkeeper I probably wouldn't use right now. Marchese is not a bad option because he's the L15 under 40. But obviously the risk is that he doesn't start. Um, yeah, he's only on 35 at the moment, lovely. Yeah, that, that risk that he doesn't start is large. Stegen is a tough one because he's got a tough game for both of them. David Raya is a tough one because he's got a tough game. And Dominguez is a tough one because he has got a reasonably tough game, but also he's got a really high cost. And I don't know if I want to use a high cost like points total on the goalkeeper. I think I'll use Marchese in for that under. I think I'm going to use Grimaldo. Or do I want to put Grimaldo in like all-star? No, we're going to use Grimaldo. Alejandro Grimaldo. Sa same, same thing again with all of the Man City players. It's just a risk, isn't it? Do I use Grimaldo and Xhaka together? There's my two overs. I don't feel like there's many better options, to be fair. And again, I, I really like the synergy of Grimaldo and Xhaka. Now I need two fifty fours or under. We're right back at the same situation again. David Neres, I don't like. Although Marseille do concede quite a lot, don't they? But David Neres had a little stint, didn't he? And then he's just kind of like fallen off again from there. Bill Rosen. Mm. And we are right back. The same situ. Exactly the same conundrum as the last one, isn't it? I just don't like the Inter Miami players away from home. It was quality versus sporting in the cup. For for uh Davin Neres.
Damn, Nunez expected to be on the bench. Interesting. Pochu's going to be on the bench. Went to bed with Borrow 90% start, and now they're rotating the full sides to live is so rough. Yeah, it is. That's why I waited till like this afternoon to, to, to build my lineups. Didn't play here. Oh, we've got 85 minutes here. And got an assist. That's interesting. I count still, though. Yeah, the Miami fixture is not, not, not good, I don't think. It's weird, isn't it? Because I, I like there's a few players here, like Shose Sosa. I actually like as an option, but I just don't know if I could trust in him. And it's like the other thing is like, am I should I be putting in an L fifteen fifty four instead of uh, Jose Angulo is actually very good for this matchup in this in this competition, but should I be putting an L fifteen forty one? Only two players from Miami who would play well: Messi and Suarez. Could put in Jorginho. I'd expect Jorginho to start, and I think he's also got great potential to do a lot of good things in the Arsenal team. That's probably going to be my, my side there. Dilly dilly. Jorginho. What about Szymanski? He's not 100% because people think he is suspended for yellow cards. I think that's league, though. Um, the concern around Szymanski is that he just literally just doesn't start. Also, for him, I can't. I don't think he's hit a decisive. Oh, he, he did get an assist against Adana Demirspor and a goal for Poland. But when it comes to uh, Fenerbahce, look at that drop off, man. He was one of the best players on the platform for a couple of months, and since this period here, he just he's been stinking the place out, hasn't he? He actually hasn't not started. The amount of times I didn't play Szymanski because I was like, oh, he might not start. I, I honestly prefer Jorginho. I think Jorginho could get 60 to 70 points from AA against Bayern. And with the odd chance of a, you know, a, a random like last man tackle or, or assist. I'm happy with that. And a captain Grimaldo, of course. The biggest risk of this team is, uh, is the goalkeeper. All right, then we're going to go and do... Global All-Star. I might go for a full Arsenal stack in All-Star Rare. What do you guys reckon? If we, if we keep a clean sheet and smash, I'll just do sick. Tier 2. Oh, GG's Josh. Tier 2's alright, isn't it? I think I am. I think I'm just going to go for a full Arsenal setup. No, the guards. Maybe not the forward. Maybe we play a Drissy up front. Ayo Saka. Maybe we play a Drissy up front. Like I, I just, I just don't think he's going to start. I haven't got any lineup information for him either. Who is the like Adrissi is the best option if he plays? Remember squads for profit? Yeah, I love squads for profit, man. It was a good, uh, a good one to do. Did you do your rewards in the stream? You don't get rewards until the end of the day, seven o'clock. It's for me, it's either going to be Hulk 
who apparently hasn't got a good matchup, even though I actually think he has. You know, they're against Rosario Central, 65% chance of winning, 36% chance of three goals scored. Hulk, you know, didn't get decisive in the last game. Somehow. I think he had two big chances missed, did he? I know, only one in the end. They didn't have a game in 4-6-5. They've just come back, so surely he's going to want to play. You would just go full Arsenal? No, because for full Arsenal, I have to rely on either Jesus or Trossard because Arsenal don't have many forwards. You'd expect Idrissi to be rested. So I, I would expect Idrissi to be rested. There's two things that make me think, oh, they did. The state final versus Cruzeiro. Did Hulk do well? Did he score? Um, I did expect, I would expect him to be rested. But the fact that the whole community, okay, it's only 38 predictions, but not one person thinks that he's going to be on the bench. And the fact that they don't have many games left for the rest of the season makes me think, actually, maybe he won't be. You know, this isn't a situation, like, they can't really win the league. Like, they're going to have playoffs, mind you, but he could much more easily be rested in those league games than in this game. Hulk scored a pen, did he? Don't know. And then, yeah, for the Arsenal side of things, it's Trossard who's expected on the bench and Jesus, who I just, I genuinely don't know the expectation of Jesus to start. See, I, I, I think this will be bang on. The only caveat will be it's very possible. Now, I don't think Kivio will start. I think Tommy Asu will start. But it's very much, I, I think Jesus on that left-hand side could be better than Martinelli because Jesus has just missed the Champions League for us. They want the rewards. Do they still give out rewards for the, the things? I didn't, I didn't think they did anymore. Luis Suarez is an interesting one. He's, he's effectively guaranteed to start. And if Inter Miami do score, he will probably be involved. Jonathan David, I don't like. Usman Dembele, very tough game. Lewandowski, very tough game. Neres Tequino, very tough games. It's literally going to be Idrissi, Hulk, or Suarez. And I'm probably leaning way, to, way more towards Hulk. On my bowl, Libertadores. Hulk's at 80% to start. Quite interesting. Mauricio Martinez not expected to start. Hulk at home. Yeah, Hulk, Hulk at home is definitely a great shout, obviously. It's interesting that Hulk's only 80%, isn't it? We've got Armani 90, Diaz 80. I'm going to take that regardless. Then we've got Dominguez. Oh, wow, Quintero's back at 70% to start. That's interesting. Quintero's 90% to start. Gremio. Season's 50-50. Very unsure if Palacios would start for Leverkusen. Oh, got subbed, and I couldn't tell if he was just exhausted or if it was something else, but no news on injuries. Oh, God. What news I want to hear, is it? The, the, the thing that I don't like, Cry, is if Idrissi starts, he's going to get 100 points. He just is. Or, you know, at least like 60 to 80 points as a bare minimum. Is 
what did he rest before? He rested against uh, against Keretaro. See, he rested in the league, which makes me think that they're focusing on the Champions League. He has started and played 90 minutes in all of the games so far. Even in this Philadelphia Union game, he played 90 minutes when they were all like the game was done by the 60th minute. They could easily have taken him off here and rested him, and they just didn't. It's interesting that he's played 90 minutes in every Champions League game. And in the Liga MX, almost always get subbed off and got rested. Or actually, maybe he was suspended. Yeah, that was yellow card suspension, not rested. Which then even further goes to uh, explore, doesn't it? That he's only missed two games since he joined. A suspension against Monterey for the red card and a suspension against Kiritaro for the yellows. Otherwise, he has not missed a game. Which further implies that he will play. I think I'm going to risk it. I think we're going to put Adrissi in here. And we're going to, we're going to captain him as well. We're going to go full, full, full in. Full, full in on Idrissi And Arsenal. Raya. Gabriel. Erdegaard. Oh, I like this team a lot. Saka. Idrissi. Hi, yo, Saka. And I'm going to captain Idrissi. And risk it for the biscuit. Fire is completely over, though. I like. I, I get. I hear what you're saying. I hear what you're saying. But like I said, like if you even look at the high against Philadelphia Union by the 57th minute, when they were four nil up, the tie was over. They could have easily taken him off, rested him for the rest of the game. Tie's over, right? Because why? Why keep him on? Not only did they keep him on, he played all 90 minutes even though, and they used all subs, even though he just, he just didn't have to. The, the other thing that's interesting to me, as I say, is since he joined, literally since he joined, he has only not played in two games, and both of those games were due to suspension. For me, that speaks volumes about his worth in the team. And now, if this is the one time where he doesn't play, fair enough, the lineup's dead. But it's a risk I'm willing to take. He really gets a... Mate, mate look at it, he's crazy. He, he's just way too good for the league. Way too good. Right, that's all Star Rare done. Now for the cap modes. Right, let's, do, let's put our best cap 240 team together. Just because there's less people, Billy, I think. Cap 240. Can that please be an Engadju red card that my phone just buzzed for? Yes, let's go. It's only on 37 points. Oh, Shanghai Sip G. Oh, Gustavo got... Gustavo started the game. Nice. I would love it if he became a starter for them. He was one of those weird ones, man. Whenever he played for Jean Book, like, after watching him so many times, I don't know how he didn't score more goals. Like, he must have one of the most big chances missed. Okay, I'm going to click on every game. He's not going to have any now, but he had so many big chances missed. For Shanghai, he could be a banger there, couldn't he? He should be a starter. They gave him the number nine shirt. Well, that's really good. Yeah, I would love it if Sichuan could get a goal. This guy. Just keep keeping Gadju, even Gadju down. 60 points is fine, but Oscar was selfish and took two pens when they could have given him some confidence for his first goal. Yeah, but I think Oscar's setting like, <laughs> like o o Oscar, Oscar sets like so rare records without even being on so rare. He's actually had a little bit of a downturn in form, but look at that. When he plays, that is honestly just the best card on the site, isn't it? 
if he had a card. Woolley's on fire. Oh, he won both penalties. Oh, yeah, look at those. That's, that's mad scores, to be fair. Loads of decisives. And how much is he now? Oh, oh wow, he, has, he just doesn't trade very much at all, does he? He only has 40 cards. That, that's like a massive, massive uh, differential there, isn't it? Yeah, I saw what you put in the Discord, Josh, for Josselu when he starts. He's a banger, isn't he? Absolute banger. All right, cap 240 rare. First of all, I want to put in a few of those. Yeah, see, Jose Sosa, I like. And Matey Boy against Delphin, Jose Angulo, I like. That leaves me with a large, large chunk of points here. Nishikawa. Damn, Nishikawa with L15 of 41. Nice, isn't it? It's been awful this year, though, hasn't he? Oh, thanks, babe. Probably a housewife, you know. Thank you. That's fine, thank you. You all right? Hey, maybe. Okay. Okay. Yeah, Tavernier would be a top five card on the site if he had one. Tavernier. Mate, how many, like, who do I go with in goal? He actually did get a clean sheet last game. Like that. That is quite a good Cap two forty lineup. No synergy with any of the players. But four home matchups, ten percent odds of the middle threshold. Quite mad, isn't it? What I probably should do is take out one of those Continental Knights Super Rare teams and play a four-man threshold team in Super Rare. Do I have Vasquez? Yeah, but he's super rare. So I can't put him in this lineup. Nishikawa. William Salaba. Oh, yeah. Ulo didn't play the last game. And he went off 89th minute. I don't know. 
Wouldn't that be a pain if he's injured? So rare. You, there is a free-to-play side of so rare. Uh, Miles, yeah. Bowen's out for West Ham. Doesn't say he went off injured. Maybe I don't use Jose Angulo, guys. I don't want to... Uh... Don't want to risk that he's injured, you know. I'll put that Raphael Silver in 220. Can you downgrade SRs into Cap 240? No. Gonna have to take out. <clears throat> Forward spot now. And now, now that I've put in a 58 and a 55 in here, I'm gonna crucify myself a bit. Hulk's gonna have to go in 270. I just don't have any good options. Maybe like Nerez. If Nerez is expected to start, maybe Nerez in there. And then it leaves me with an L15 and a 40. Which we had a few players around 40, didn't we? We've got Peix Young Ho at home to uh, Cardiff. Alex Alvarado, but his expectancy to start has gone far, far down. Hex Young Ho's an all right scorer as well. He's good for like 50, 55 points. Got one decisive. Oh no, that's just his best game there. But he's obviously like made an impact for Birmingham because he's playing basically every game. Since he joined, three sub appearances and otherwise he started every game. So I don't mind putting Hex Young Ho in there. It's a, it's a lot more of a competent team, that, isn't it? Murillo from Forest on so rare? I don't think so. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Let me get rid of Angulo. Nerez in here. Pick Xiong Ho in here. And Captain Canales. Now, do I think I can get the 340 points with this team? Yes. What super rares have I just got left to put into Cap 240 super rare? Because I can actually put Langarak in here, can't I? Langarak goes in there. Kenneth Powell, I think he's injured, but Sergio Busquets can go in there. I guess I don't have any strikers. Akumbayo. Damn. That actually has a chance of hitting a threshold, doesn't it? Obviously, Langrak won't play, but Captain Jorginho will just do 320 points again. I'm all about that life. Don't even have to disrupt one of the other lineups. Oh, is Murillo a midfielder, is he? What am I running for the Global All-Star? Uh, my Global All-Star looks like that, mate. We've got four Arsenal boys and a Drissy as the forward. What's up, Tin Can? How you doing, man? Put 
I do cap 270 rare. Thanks to whoever said bonus out this week. That was Josh, yeah. For both Edison and Ter Stegen, even though I don't expect either of them to keep a clean sheet, I expect both of them to get good save AA. So I guess 270. We'll go to Stegen. Maybe a pair with Joao Cancelo as well. Foden's L15 at 75 is crazy, isn't it? On the one hand, it's like I don't mind not putting in De Bruyne, Foden, Gundogan, Erdegaard because they've all got tough games. But on the other hand, they are like the best players in the world, aren't they? Some of anyway. And as we know, historically through So Rare, even in the toughest games, the best players still perform. Like, it's the sort of thing where I won't put De Bruyne in a lineup and then he'll go and bang 100 points. And I'll be like, oh, obviously I should have put De Bruyne in a lineup. But if I put him in this lineup, I don't have much left. I've only got 40, sorry, 91 points for the remaining two players. Again, I'm looking at Angulo thinking he could be all right. Things that not expected to start for Benfica then, even though he started the, uh, the league game. Oh, he's like, he is favoured. Yeah, McAllister is another one that I've just got chilling. I think that could be a good risk. Especially in 270, because if I captain De Bruyne, I only really need Tank Stats to even just get on the field to be a contributing factor. That leaves me with 54. 54 offers me Yovi, El Zugarai, Busquets, Tamir, Zulj. Zulj, not bad. Contrario Ramos hitting for. It's because he's been playing, because Mbappe's leaving. Utas, I don't care about. Simansky. I'm already looking at players again where I'm like, oh, I don't know about this player. I don't know about that player. Jorginho wouldn't mind in 270. Does leave me a 46 striker. 
Trossard, no. Rioni, no. Jesus, potentially. Over Tengstat. I, I don't like the fact that I've got some huge, huge, huge hitters out of teams. I just don't like it. I don't mind that lineup, mind you. And I'm going to captain De Bruyne in that. Susan Jorginho. And then we've got Cap 220. You can put them in limited. I can put you absolutely right. I can put them in limited, Mohammed. You are absolutely goddamn right. Well done. Well done, you. All right. Well, do you know what's hilarious as well? I don't have that many goalkeepers in limited. Cap 220 goalkeeper. Could go Nishikawa here, but I might need him. But he's L1541, so I might not need him. Let's go Nishikawa here. Now, I had a few really low defenders that I was interested in. Get the rare defenders up. 40 use 43 is very good for it. Go for Nishi. In the Portuguese in there. Now is where I want to go and get like that. Uh, Even Szymanski at 48 is okay. Ibarra did well last game. He scored two goals. He had a banging game. But did he play against Libertad because he's not playing in this game? I don't know. Since he's been there, he hasn't, he hasn't been very good. Johan Julio is projected to start. He was very good for LDU last season. And this season he struggled to get in the team. Don't risk, can't risk him. Jose Cifuentes is one where I'm kind of curious to start him on 46. But no, we had a... Damn, Frankie is expected back? He's only been out four games, mind you. I, th I thought he was out for a fair while, but... I like Szymanski, actually, here. And then I want the 41 matey boy. We're going to put Angulo in here this time. Even if he doesn't play, this is only 220, so it doesn't matter. And then we've got 47 available. Probably will go with uh, Johan Julio, actually. Julio. Or will I? Angulo will 100% play. I just couldn't tell if he was injured or not. Um, because he, uh, like, if, if he will 100% play as well, he made, like because because he went off in the 89th minute of this game and then didn't play this game. I was like, oh, maybe he's injured. But his uh, his performance so far in the Sudamericana for Delphin has been insane. And so I'd actually rather put him in a more priority lineup if he's definitely going to play. So 
Sosa has an unreal fixture. I think I already have Sosa in a team. Uh, let me show somebody asked to see my teams. Let me just save that team for right now. Continental teams. Here we go. There's my continental teams. Enjoy looking at those for a second. Scrutinize them if you dare. And uh, I'll be right back and just use the bathroom.
Oi. <clears throat> Dil Rosen is not expected to start. Julio had some injuries in the build-up to this season. That's why he had some sub-appearances. Fair enough. Um, yeah, my caps. I think I would much prefer Jose Angulo over David Neres. And so that's what I'm going to do. Um, and then that also leaves me 45 points. Which includes Jose Sosa. And that's what I had initially. Yeah. I, I, I prefer that much, much, much better. To the point where I'm actually tempted to put it on 390. Let me show it. Let me get rid of him and just save that for now. And then in 240, get rid of both of those. Angulo and Sosa. That's a really, really nice lineup. I, I just have a, like, this is one of those lineups that could just go off and easily get the 390. But if, if it gets 340, $80 for this lineup's nice, isn't it? It literally pays for like three of the players I paid for. But if it does get the 390, 250 bucks. Oof. 1% chance of 390. Great matchup, great competition. Great matchup, great competition. I actually think Canales has got a great matchup, great competition. Good matchup and good matchup for Nishikawa. All right, guys, let me know. Do I risk it or do I not? I need you to tell me. Vinit, thanks very much for the uh, gifted subs, brother. Much appreciated, man. Packers, thanks for the 16 months as well. All right, Nepo, do you reckon Jesus starts for Arsenal? I, I, I kind of think he has to. You don't think Angulo will get the required A for 390? The thing that I like about Angulo is nothing, nothing short of just his results in the competition so far. We look at his scores for Delphin in Sudamericana. It's nice. <clears throat> Four shots on target in that game. Two in that game, including good duels, an interception. Risk it. What's the point of playing if we're not going to risk it? Let's go 390. Doesn't get 390. Who gives a shit? Uh, and then cap 220. Oh, they don't have an under 23 rare. Not really. Um, cap 220. Belgrano is a stronger opponent now. No, he's going to get 100 points and I'm going to prove you wrong. Or actually, he's going to prove you. Or he's going to prove you right. So we've only got 44 average per player. I could go for David Neres here and then get a 42. I wonder if I can literally swap the players I had. I, I literally can. I had Pex Young Ho and David Neres in the other lineup, and I can now put them in this, this lineup here. So that is absolutely perfect. All right, let's save that. The captain, Szymanski captain. In a midweek, even a 340 would give you a decent card, in my opinion, so don't risk it. Well, if I still get a decent card anyway, and I don't get the cash, I'm okay with that. All right, Continental Limited Knights. Phone buzzing. What have we got going on? 
Yes, and Gadju. Love to see it. Love to see it. Shanghai Shanuaha. Mate, the, like, uh, as, as Lunike still got his Amadou's. Mate, that trio. But actually, with. I actually think that trio. That, that maybe even. I, w I, w I personally would probably get rid of Angadju for Texiera and play those three together. Because I, f I feel like that trio is just going to absolutely slap points every single game. And look at this 30 minutes in, they're already all on 10 AA each. Man, I'm very jealous of a lot of Lunike Super Rares, man. He's got some very good cards. Even that Kaziash Villiers is a good one. What's up, Aldrius? How you doing, man? Have I got... Did I pair Texier and Manafa together? Rare, classic season, rare, all-star rare. Don't think... Out on that. All star rare I've got two players. I think I've got Gadju in there actually, haven't I? And then one live in there. Got Manafa and Gadju here. Dil Rosen did shit. Caro did all right. I'm 90 points away from a card here, so I doubt I'll be getting one. And then the other lineup was. This one. Yumbit Graham, is he injured? Really annoying that he didn't, didn't play. I'm 78 points away from a box. Not impossible if Texiero gets 100. Not impossible. But no, no points for Yumbit Graham as he should be back next game. He has sinusitis. 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 Gotcha. Because otherwise, this was a good lineup. If he even got like a nominal like 50, 60 points here, we'd be in a great spot for a, maybe even a card reward, let alone a couple of boxes. But this is what it is. I'll hide that one because probably won't get anything from that either. Um, right. Limited. Continental Knights. I'm going to go with Armani. I kind of need to use as many rares in Continental Knights as possible because obviously I need three cap modes and all-star for goalkeepers limited. We'll put in Armani first. Are there one of one cards? Yeah. When do rewards come out typically on Surreal? Uh, Tuesdays and Fridays at 7 p.m. Tempted to go like an Armani, a Grimaldo. That's my two bigs. I need two cards under 50, well, 54 or under. We've got POV, we've got Jorginho. I have Ertz. Ozduev, McAllister's too big. Got for forwards. Brunetta. Don't mind using Brunetta. One of the uh one of the under fifty fives. Is Surrey worth starting at the end of the season? I'll wait for next year. So it's it has like all different um 
competition, so it plays forever. It doesn't doesn't end. There is no like, although you might get the end of like the European seasons, you've then got like the American seasons playing and like the Asia's or you know whatever it may be, South America's. So there's always something going on on so rare. Raul Joe could be fun, but probably makes more sense to pair him with uh, Ter Stegen, doesn't it? Jorginho could be fun. Gabriel Martinelli could be fun. Mende Garcia is 100% expected to start. Independiente Medellin. In spite of the fact that he almost never starts for them. Is there a reason why Kivio can't go into line? I don't think he'll start. Is I don't like the fact that on so rare, even though this has got like very specific requirements, you can't set how many points are available. Raphael Silva is the only other under forty you really have in limited. I think I have him in rare as well, so I can use him twice. Like, if he started, it would be amazing. Even if he gets sub-minutes, it could, like, honestly, he could be, like, good. But, yeah, in terms of the, uh, the players that I've got available, the 40 and unders, El Nenny won't play. Alvarado's expect Like, Alvarado maybe gets, like, sub-minutes as well. Um, damn, Oscar Romero is playing in football again. Wait, I thought he had a good stint in uh, Turkey, didn't he? What happened to him at the end there? He started off quite well. Now he's at Botafogo. Jesus Christ, what a journeyman. Oh, and Bamba. Yeah, I, I literally just have genuinely like either sub options <clears throat> or um oh that's midfielders I'm looking at. Go to all whoever got Peng stat maybe. Again even if it's just some sub minutes. Richard Mean is okay, but he's playing against his old club, so you you never know his uh, loyalties, do you? Oh no, wait! It's the other guy that's left LDU, isn't it? He's not playing for Botafogo. In fact, I don't even think he's expected to start because I think uh, Kinones is back, so he's a hundred percent there. But I don't think he'll actually start. The other player that was. Uh, Mende Garcia, don't care about. Rafael Silva is one of the better options for me. Mind of thought is Tommy, because I'm sure he'll leave the star get some minutes. You know what? I have Tommy Asu as well. Yeah, you're absolutely right. It's a good under 40 to have. Because if he does start, bang in. In. So for the Continental Knights, I've got the under. I've got the two bigs. I need another mid. Another 54 or lower. Who have we got? POV, Alzugaray. Busquets. Havertz. I don't mind putting Havertz in there, you know. 
I thought like Havertz could have a good game. He's got, yeah, you know what, I'm, I'm, I don't only not mind doing it, I'm going to just do it. Now, the other thing I want to do, I'm going to Captain Grimaldo, of course. The other thing I want to do is make sure I get in any of the other monsters that I've not put in. Messi. <laughs> I might put Messi in All Star Limited, um, but like McAllister and Foden, and to a degree Erdegaard, kind of have to go in, don't they? Now I can put both McAllister and Foden in here as the two bigs. That actually, could be quite, quite, quite good actually. And then we'll put it back in again. What was that guy's name? Gustavo. What was his name? I thought it was Gustavo. Oh no, Silva. Rafael Silva. The projected lineups on Surrey data reliable to build a squad? Somewhat. I wouldn't entirely trust them, but somewhat. And then for the goalkeeper, I need a 55 or under, which is going to be Edison. And then for a defender, I need a 55 or under. What's Ake? He won't be playing. You right, mate? You don't pants don't feel right. Come here. You look smart, don't you? Wait, stand there so everyone can see you. Say, look at me. Put your hands up. Stand back a little bit more so they can see you. Wow, look how cool that is. Right, come over here so they can't see you. Out. Turn around for me. There. Arms up. Hold that. Wait. Where doesn't it feel right? Better? Okay, let go then. Your legs a little. Better? Good, good boy. You going out, are you? I'll see you when you get back, matey. Um, right, a 54 or below a defender. Hakimi, Sule, Samir. Give your Rodriguez, Jordi Alba, Raul. Oh, Damien Suarez. Is he expected to start? Manafa and Amadou on 20 AA already, are they? Jesus Christ, look at that. Texiera, only on the eight. Mate, this, Manafa is going to be one of the best players on the platform, isn't he? He is. Manafa. How much is he selling for now? I think I bought him for about like eight pounds. He's selling for 70 quid. Yeah, I, I bought him for 18 pounds and then traded for a, an in-season, for, for like the, the correct season for me. Literally just traded for trade. See, is this a sort of card? Um, is this the sort of card where it's like, I should sell it now? You know, if I can end up picking up like 70 or 80 quid for this card. It is the sort of thing, isn't it? Where I'm like, this, like, I could probably find some other cards similar to this for like half the price, quarter of the price. Let's keep him, uh, Keep him open. Oh, Xi Peng face scored. Wonder if that's a, an assist from one of the boys. Marlon was similar last year, then faded. But for the most part, people just don't maintain those like insane scores. All right, who am I going with here? L15, 54 or below. Hakimi's out. Sule benched. Samir. Just can't trust in Samir. Was a free kick. The get the guy's in the same free kicks take us. Oh really? Fair enough. Uh, 
there is not a defender down here that I am interested in. Apart from perhaps Tommy Asu. But I don't need a 31. Which means I'm resigned to either Samir or Jordi Alba or Araujo. But Araujo, first of all, tough game. Second of all, not pairing him with anyone. He didn't play against Las Palmas. I guess he was like... Araujo's a good scorer though, isn't he? He didn't play against Antwerp both times. I reckon I'll go over Araujo. Bosh, here we go. Um, so, team two. We're going with Ederson. All these rares coming in clutch now. Araujo. Foden. Silver. That's going to be an absolute shit show of a midweek, guys, isn't it? For everyone. Just going to be an absolute shit show. Oh, that's interesting. You can only captain the scarcity that it belongs to. That's quite peculiar. So I have to captain Araujo. And then for my third Continental Knights, I am tempted to go for like a full Arsenal stack. Because if I did put in Raya on 16%, Tommy Asu as my under, at half time there, yeah. I just want to make, uh, not make sure, but I just want to keep up to date on Ngadju. I just don't want him to get a good score to date. If we put in Tommy Asu on 13.5%, we can then go for Bukayo Saka. Such a, like, it's such a shame Ryo's 56, isn't it? Genuinely, if he was just 55, no, 54, we'd, we'd be in a much better spot then the forward would have to be Gabriel Martinelli. And then the extra, we again would have any 54 or below, but an Arsenal player. And ju just, just put faith in my boys, you know? Maybe like a... Damn, maybe like a Jorginho. There is a three per team limit. You're absolutely right. I can't do that at all. I can do this, though. My two bigs. Now I can have the two mids there. So I need to do 54 and below her again. Navarino not interested in. Aquino might be one of the best options here, actually. He is. And then another 54 or below. That is a great shout. Tabarino, POV, Alzugarai. Busquets. I'm not opposed to Busquets. I'm not opposed to Jordi Alba. Samuelino, but against Dortmund, I don't, I don't know if I can. Uh... Nah, he's, he just doesn't score very well. Jose Cifuentes' chances are starting to go down as the as it's moving on. Why is that Jorginho there? I will put him in Captain Forty, but Tommy over White. Uh, I have to fit a cap. Like I need an under under forty uh, L fifteen guy. I, I think Tommy Asu will start a left left back anyway. I think he will start a left back. I think he's one of our best defensive like fullbacks. 
I'm going to risk one of the Miami boys, and it's going to be Sergio Biscuits. You know what? I started the stream. We've been doing this over two hours already. I didn't think it would take long today because there's only the Continental Knights and Cat Modes, and yet it's taken longer than almost anything. Yeah, I think worst case scenario, Tommy Asu gets on and gets 25 points, which is close to his cap anyway. Best case scenario, he starts and has a, a great time. We're going to captain Bukayo Saka. Um, so we save that. And then, that's still 77 rated, even with Tommy at 89% there. And then we've got All-Star Limited. Now, the question is, how many goalkeepers have I got left? I've only got three, so I'll only be able to do two cap modes. Um, which is a bit of a pain. But All-Star Limited, I think we've got to go with uh, Mr. Armani. Hmm. Is it like a management game or is it like a car game? Uh, it's like fantasy football. I do get sidetracked a lot in the streams. Yeah, so sometimes. Ben White. Kenneth Powell's going to start. That's interesting. Against Plymouth as well. We could have a fantastic game. Boy, Brayton. I've already put uh, Nishikawa in goal elsewhere, haven't I? He's just bang average, Hoy Brayton. He's not great. He's not terrible. Do I really want to do Ben White against Byron? Yeah, massive percentage on him as well. We've got Yumi Chara, Granite Xhaka, Declan Rice, both of whom I have great belief could get massive scores. Declan Rice could get through a lot of defensive work. Lionel Messi's got to be the guy here, regardless. And then. Maybe Granite Jacker anyway. I like it. I like it. We're going to captain Lionel Messi. I have got humongous percentage on that team. Look at that. 7.5 on Armani. 16 on Rice. 14.5 on White. 10 on Jacker and 9 on Messi. And I don't have any... Um, I don't have any... Uh, Perfection score on Messi. It's all like actual bonus point things. I quite like that. Right. Two, two more teams to build before we go into training. We've got a Cap 240 team. Thanks, uh, Samurai Pal. We've got Raya and Ter Stegen. Oh, they really like this Mene Garcia guy, don't they? Jesus, they give me a 20% chance at a 340 with that. I, I'm at that point where I like, don't really care. Like, I kind of don't mind letting so Red Day to decide. Because anything that I, I do anyway is going to be with those players that if, if buts and maybe so's. Chara. Chara didn't play the last game, mind you. Garcia. Kenneth Powell. Since there's a 4% chance of that hitting maximum threshold, I'm going to do it. $25. That would be amazing if that hit $25. At 270. We can only have Ter Stegen here. Complete the lineup. We have got Luke McNally. Samuelino. 
Oh, Bamiyang, who's actually been banging this season. Absolutely banging. Ushmane Dembele. And then we probably could still put together a Cap 220 team. It's just going to have a DMP goalkeeper. Niyakawa. Ben White. Big Sung Ho. Wow. Lewandowski in 220. Jesus Christ. Uh, good old Gabriel Magales. Might as well build an answer. Yeah, I, I mean, now, now I'll just fill all of the uh, all of the extra lineups that I can. The only th oh yeah, under twenty three doesn't have divisions anyway, does it? So we'll go Carl Hine, William Salaba, Lucia. Martinelli, Bobby Thomas. It is indeed some free training. We like that. And under 23 rare. We've got Carl Hein again. Facundo Rodriguez. I'm actually going to put Yuri and Timber in instead of Rodriguez. Because I want to start growing his XP. I'm also going to start Emil Smith Rowe. Jonathan David can go in because I actually want him to score well. And Sabe can go in as well because I want him to score well. But I want to get the uh, the Arsenal boys in there to hopefully get some bonus XP on them. Um. And then it literally comes down to the training teams. This, this is the, the training teams are the bit where it's a pain. Like I, I wish so rare would simplify the ability to just play players in the training team. Are they, the, the icons still scoring, even though they're not useful anymore? Because if they are, we'll do that. Wow, I've got Martin Odegaard I'm not even using. Let me put Suarez in there, try and get him up to 5%. No, let me play that Darwin Nunez. I want, I want in-season cards only. I want to get them some... Uh, I want to build up that XP like as quick as possible, even, even though the, you know, it's coming to a close, the season. You always put Legends in training. Legend. Dominguez goes in. We'll pop Cannavaro in. And then we'll do in-season again. Jorginho can go in. Crossard can go in. I need to improve that Arsenal collection bonus for next season. Gabriel Zejus can go in. Yeah, th th this is these aren't lineups that can win rewards. This is just for experience now. Um. Pop Allison in. Get another another legend. What was it? Midfielder that I've got. Now drop and Ronaldo. Isn't that oh hold on, if we go no game this week. If I get that Sol Young Vu up. Oof. Oh, let me let me do the Spurs players actually. Give me Christian Romero up. Let me get the like Malik Tillman. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. I only have 2% two, 2 collection bonus on that Spurs collection. Is that what that said? You sure you want to play Dil Rosen in Continental? Do I have? I don't think I have him in Continental, do I? Oh, there. Um, I, don't, I don't have any other choices, to be honest, mate. I just don't have many... Uh, like, the, the, the problem is, like, I've got two overs, under with Marchizo, Marchese in. Jorginho is a mid. I have to put a mid in. So it's either Joao Felix, 
Chancellor who won't play, Joao Felix who won't start, Trossard who won't start, Ramos who won't start, Rioni won't play, Tecatito won't play, Hengstat probably won't start. I, I literally don't have another option. Unless I obviously like put, you know, like Hulk in here and then put a mid midfielder in. But then my options again are like Alzugarai, Piovi, who's not a bad option. Busquets, who's not a bad option. But I just, I, I don't know. Why, why do you think DeRozan won't play uh, SEF 08? I don't mind changing the team around. Might, I might have to need to find somewhere else for um, Xhaka. If the team scores points, then it's a lot more depending on the team's overall score. The DMP training lineup is 70x, 75x P per player. Yeah, yeah. So that is, oh, you answering, Quinny, someone as to why I put legends in training. Yeah, it's just because it gives bigger, bigger percentage boost. It's predicted everywhere in Mexican media with the sources. Is he just DNP or just on the bench? I don't mind if he's just on the bench. I don't mind if, if, if it transpires that he just gets on as a sub. He, against this New England team that's going to rotate heavy, even if he only gets 30 minutes, he could very well score or get a decisive action. The only other thing I could do, as I say, is put Hulk in and then play POV in there. Which isn't a bad lineup either. I mean, it's, it's a really nice lineup. Am I going to build another Arsenal collection next season? Yeah. I sure will. What do you guys think? What do you guys... They're testing auto-training in MLB at the moment. Get that Hein XP up for those quarterly Hein three goals conceded Estonia games. Look, look, I don't know how good Liga de Quito are compared to Botafogo. The odds seem to suggest that Liga de Quito are like good favourites. Piovi's playing well. Hulk's also at home. But yeah, if, if that New England Revs game is a bit of a write-off game... All right, let's change it. Now then, I've got a Granite Xhaka. Who could only play instead of... No and no. No and no. 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 No and no. Alistair and Foden would be no. Saka or Rai would be no. I don't, there's, honestly, there's nowhere I'd rather maybe an all-star rare instead of Erdegaard or Saka. No. In a cat mode. Nope. There's nowhere. M m maybe instead of Raul Cancelo and a different defender in there. Second half kicked off here. Oh, damn, Texiera's up. Big points on him as well now. Carry on with the academy training anyway. Peter have the home advantage or almost three kilometer altitude. Fair enough. Um, get Ramsdale some XP. Next season, I'm sure he'll, uh, he'll be playing. Have we got any more legends? All the legends gone. Get a Soliong Vu up. We've got a season ahead for him. Get that. Uh... Oh, that other guy is a bit frustrating, actually, isn't he? What's his name? This guy, Lee Dong Yong. There's almost no point in me training him because he's going to go to military in like a month, isn't it? That's a bit of a pain. Okay. 
and Buno Gimaraish. We'll train Chancellor. Big rewards for me? Not really. Some cash, but not really big rewards. I've got any playing players. Let me put a playing player in here. Pop a uh, the one in there. Yeah, he's going to the military team, yeah. Will he not play in the military team? I don't know if is it scored I don't know if it's scored on so rare or not. Misses a month at least, basic training though. Oh, is that right? So they've got to go through training first. He's level twenty already. Adam Roither. I can't imagine he's gonna be uh the goalkeeper for too much longer now, is he? He's level 20 already. My Steve Clark up to 10%. They got promoted to K1. Oh, so they're scored, are they? Oh, that's all right. So he won't miss much then. I don't mind that then. Put Jacker in there. Put Suarez in there. Get some points on him. And Lower as well. Military team in top division. He's linked to PSV, is he? Jesus. Oh, I know I value collections a lot and stuff. When I look at stuff like this, I honestly see this and think, wow, what a chance missed. I bet I could probably get him up to 3% with very little spend. Same as Dembele. Who's going to play? None of these. They're all absolute garbo. Let's pop Jota in and get him some... Uh... See, he's already level 20. Felix Torres is about to start his season, isn't he? I don't know how well he's doing for Corinthians. Probably the sort of player that I should sell, Felix Torres. All right, last training team. Who have we got that we want to put in? Joe Hart's retiring at the end of the season. Let's put Leo Roman in. For an hour. Izuma. Just bought a player solely on the game week. They got me. Zidzvadze. I know that there's no playing player there, but some good XP for those in-season cards. Right, and that's me, I think. So we've got under 23 are both throwaway teams. None of them will actually play and, and do proper. But hasn't Jonathan David got a game? Why is it showing no game for him? He has. So has uh, Sabe as well. So has Smith Rowe. In fact, they've all got a game. Won't play, mind you, but they've all got a game. Be careful of Lara Man. He's going back to Mallorca next year. Unlucky. Might lose a star there. But he might, like, the, the, the thing with players like that, right? I, I do absolutely agree with you that that's something to consider and uh, be mindful of. But if you're 23 years old and you've just had. What, one season in a Spanish second division and you've done really well, are you going to go and sit on the bench at Mallorca who could very easily be relegated to the division that you was just a starting keeper at? Or are you going to ask for a transfer to somewhere where you're going to start? I know that for my career at this point, I'm saying I want to go and play football now. I've, I've got a chance of actually establishing myself as a first team player, showing my worth and then moving to a top team. Rather than being like, yeah, I had one cool season. I'll, I'll sit on the bench for the next four years until hopefully this guy retires. He has, he has been a very, very, very good goalkeeper. Also plays for the Spanish under-21s, which is another big hit. Could get his one game for Mallorca there. Who was their goalkeeper otherwise? Ralph, who's their goalkeeper this season? 
Now, listen, I don't know him, to be fair. Maybe, maybe he does go and sit on the bench for, for, for five, six, seven years trying to get a starting spot, but... Oh, Grelf has actually only just played his first game of the season as well. They've got a new goal, new new goalkeeper. Oh, they've got Rakovic. Yeah, he definitely won't start ahead of him. Where did he play last season? Or before Mallorca, should I say? Reams. Hey, look at those. Wait, did he get injured? Or did they just... No, he didn't. He was on the bench. Why on earth after three clean sheets in a row? Oh, sorry, a clean, two clean sheets and a penalty save against Barcelona. Why would he get dropped? Rakovic might leave. Uh, Rakovic is like a quality goalkeeper. He really is. And he's probably way too good for the uh, for, for Mallorca. Yeah, see, I mean, they're, they're probably safe from relegation this season. But they're definitely the sort of team that could very easily get relegated. Oh, they rotated for the cup final. Who do they play against? Valencia. Barcelona back up into second now. Yes, Macy. Okay, come here. Lovely. Good boy. They lost the cup final on penalties. Anafa is going to get another like 80, 90 point game, isn't he? Six minutes away from another 10 points. Um, Continental Knights. So I've got two DMP, three DMP goalkeepers in the Super Air teams. But I'm hopeful that still could get a box. I mean, the rewards here. How many lineups are there? 326 lineups. Only 100. Sorry, not only 100, but 100 places that give boxes. It is entirely possible that we hit top 100. Shanghai conceded, did they? It's entirely possible that uh, we hit top 100 with one of those three squads. I, th I feel like a lot of people are going to have like misfit teams in there. So I'm all right with that. My rare teams, I really like this team. I really like it. Kelleher, Van Dijk and Salah, Brunetta and Goriara and both are supposedly playing behind Gignac tonight. I really like this team as well. Mostly predicated on whether or not Martinelli starts or not. And then this team doesn't actually have Dil Rosen. I do like this team as well. Grimaldo, Mar Marchesin is the only real risk here. He might not start. In which case, this, this lineup probably be dead. But how many boxes in this? Uh, 800, top 800 get boxes. Damn, there's only 2,800 teams. Van Dyke could be rotated for Kwanzaa. I don't know, man. Like Liverpool will get into the business end of it now, where it's like they've got a chance to actually win a trophy. I mean, they've got a chance to um, win the Premier League as well, of course. But like the fact you won contender with mainly recent rewards. Did I win contender with it? Oh, yeah, four, four rewards. Man, it's banging, isn't it? Three. 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 How, how, how mad is that that I got both Sol Yong Vu and Lee Dong Kyung from Ulsan? Three. Oh, he got upscored by two points. And then Idrissi. I paid about £100, I think, for Idrissi. £90. And he's already netted me. A lot. He's been phenomenal. And then the other, the, my, my favourite lineup this week is this one. This is all rewards. It's only winning £20. 
but it's all rewards. Including three very, very recent rewards. Oh, okay. Takeoka was a reward, just not this one. This one, there you go. So I won Takeoka. Maybe, maybe not this Takeoka. I thought I put the reward one in there. It doesn't really matter, I suppose. Um, Portuguese, we won. We are gone. We won. Mate, this is a mad one as well. Like, I never heard of him. I, w I wasn't even going to play a lineup in that division because I didn't think I had players. And then I was like, oh, I've got this Guiagon guy. Who's he? Well, he's a guy. Plays for Charleroi. Tengstat, we won. Chancelet, we won. They all did terrible, mind you, but... Right, let's Gadju gets double decisives now. I'm, I'm pretty secure for that first place role, which is nice. <clears throat> I am, I am, I can't lie, I'm tempted to sell my Manafa and Texiera. I do think that they'll be banging scorers throughout the season. But I also think this is like one of those chances to, to sell into a bit of hype. Probably get like, probably close to £100 for Texiera. What did I pay, pay for him? 148 And I've won, not, well, I've not won nothing with him there. Fair enough. And Manafa I can make a like, big profit on. Do you think Tengstat will not start? I don't have any other options. It's all right if he doesn't. I don't, I don't know if I actually have him in a team, do I? No, I think I put him in cat mode, didn't I, for Tengstat? All-star. I really like the all-stars. Nope, didn't even put him in. I, I don't have Tengstat in any team. The cash for finishing podium is pretty low. Yeah, but it's like, it's like, it's relative, right? And that's what I think So Rare have actually got bang on. Um, if we look at my points total, 423 is netting me £134. And we look at contender in season rare, Division 3, how many, how many points did I have? So 423. Is 126 pounds. 423 here would be maybe second actually in Division Three. In Division Two, it would be 13th, and in Division One, it would be 14th. And so these players are getting 157, so barely more than I'm getting. This guy is getting 40 pounds. And this guy's getting sixty-two pounds. So the the actual equivalency of the points value is actually like bang on. It's absolutely bang on. I'm getting for it. Yeah, one thirty-four versus one fifty-seven. So the only division it would have been worth more in is Division Three. But guess what? Next week, I'm in Division Three, right? So how cool is that? I now get to go and put my dog, dogged shit team in a Division 3 lineup. And if I hit the same sort of points, I win the same sort of cash again. Obviously, like in theory, right? It's not, not a given, not a guaranteed. Man, it's always fun to like stumble across these, these other guarantees. I think I've got a Furuhashi, haven't I? No, I won somebody else from... Uh... Mate. Okay. Why are you out of breath? Oh. Okay. I can't do all of that. But no, you've got to get him in because he makes a hole whilst you're out. I don't know that he's gone. He's gone. So get him in, please. Okay. Well, I love you. What's up, Fubar pal? Much love from NYC. How you doing, brother? I believe Europa League lineup has things said to be pairing of both wrong. Well, you won't know the lineups properly until like 
the end. Damn, look how much this guy's won. Been around for a long time, I suppose. I'm, I'm, I'm a bit torn on Manafar and Texiera. What I need to do, actually, is have a look at other equivalent, like, defenders in contenders and what sort of price they are. But you also want the contenders... You almost want like the uh, the Asians, really, don't you? Maybe Ossie Penko. He's expensive, mind you. Three one Shanghai. Shanghai. Ooh, oh. Bal Della. These guys. French league. Not interested. He's a uh... damn. They go all the way to four eighty one. That's quite a lot, actually. Mate, look at those scores. Unreal, isn't it? Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe there isn't like a an equivalency of a scorer for this sort of price. Song Jun Hun. Or maybe there is. But he's not like nearly as consistent as like a uh, Manafar. Just one of those ones, isn't it? Like if I'm putting into if if every week part of my classic contenders we do lineup builder for next week. Go to contender. I was building these with Josh, wasn't I? Yeah. Go to contender. Classic rare. I've literally got Ngadju. Texiera, although they're against each other this week. And Manafar as like shoe-ins, right? Every single time. Oh, shit. There goes my headset. Bruno Nazario might be a new Romulo, by the way. Bruno Nazario. I, I saw Romulo uh, got some game time as well, didn't he? For Chengdu. He did 19 minutes. Good for him. Good for him. Hopefully he's back. Bruno Nazario. Oh yeah, damn, that's mad. A little, a little bit DA. Like, you know, negative 10 AA here. Or do you miss a penalty or something? Nope. Negative 2 AA here. And that's not including big chances missed. Also, Hen and Jianye are literally garbage, aren't they? They're terrible. Oh, he's playing in midfield. That's interesting. That could be another like another nice little pair in there, right? Maidana and uh, Maidana and Nazario. Oh, he is a midfielder. Damn, he scored three goals from midfield. Yeah, he's interesting. Yu Peng Fei doing bits. Ngadju booked. Let's go. And see this score here. In fact, the last two scores for Ngadju, right? They're his mid scores. Oh, has he got a forward card, has he? Mar yeah, marginally better. Marginally better for sure. Look at this. And Gadju is like the second coming of Jesus Christ after these first four games this season. Now he's hit a 34 and a 23. 
both home games as well, actually. The away games he popped off in, the home games he's done terrible in. What's the boost, Josh? Oh, that is after they've been boosted. Damn, that's mad, isn't it? Some of them are a bit silly. I think it's already been like majorly leaked because they're all, all like favored cards on footbin. Like, the RVP one's a bit dumb because it makes him very similar to his 91 card. Does it give him? 3-3, three, three, nothing, 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 3. Hey, shooting a physical plus 3. Does it give skill moves or weak foot? 5-4. Juan Carlos Texiera scores. Well, I can't sell him now, can I, obviously? In fact, now's probably the best time to sell him. He's back, baby. He's back. Look at that. One overall, three pace, physical and shooting. Yeah, that's nice, man. I think Ashley Cole becomes elite level with that. 95 pace, 94 defending. And 88 physical. He literally becomes elite level with that. Oh no, not defending, shooting. I suppose he still becomes quite quite good with that. None of them have gone up in price. Would any go up in price off the back of it? Not that I have any coins anyway. I could, I could maybe buy Lineker. Ashley Cole, actually. Ashley Cole with that three physical and three pace with then an anchor chem style could be one of the best left backs in the game. Only SEN is unpopular. Who did I just see? SEN Alonso. Oh, it's a 93 Alonso. Yeah, fair enough. How Beijing not winning? Bad shots, I guess. Oh, Bruno Nazario's got another decisive. And Anjianye are legit. <laughs> oh, dear. G Beng Feng Fei on 92. Where is that Evo? It's hidden, mate. It's hidden. How many Texeras are there? There's only 92 of his cards. I can't, like, this is one of those ones where it's like, I could sell him and actually get some profit off of him or get some money back off of him. But actually, if he's now going to be putting up these level of scores consistently, even if it's not every game week, just dumb, isn't it? Dumb to get rid of him. Now, he actually might have played me into another reward here. My live players left here. Contender Classic. Not yet. 17 points away. Damn, man. That DNP is going to end up being painful. The good news is, given the fact that this is Division 1, I'm not going to get relegated now because that was a risk. If, however, he can get another decisive in the last 20 minutes, I could be on for a reward box, which would be genuinely phenomenal. Would not be expected at all. It needs one decisive and maybe a little tiny bit of AA. I played Soria here and there like three years ago. What would you say is a good starting budget for a casual start? Uh, may, maybe now Potas, honestly, I, I think like 50 quid is good enough to, to get a, a decent start. Um, oh, yeah, so what I was showing was the lineup builder for next week. See, if all of a sudden my contender classic, I've got Texiera and uh, Manafa there. 
as just like a, a given. And he was on 80%. On is he injured? Oh, you bit Graham. Uh, he had the uh, like just like a cold, fluey thingy or whatever it was. It was sinitis or sinus sinusitis, which sounds just like a cold to me. Really? Remember when I wanted to play? I need like five hundred dollars at least. Yeah, really. The the price points have come down massively. So we've got Texiera and Manafa. What goalkeepers have I got? I've got a lot actually, haven't I? I've got a lot of the uh, the Asian goalkeepers. Armani, Golden, Dominguez, Golden. They've just started their season now, so he's got the whole year ahead of him. Guzman is going to be off. He's going to be gone. He's going to be gone. Cavalina's going to be gone. Hart's going to be gone. Caro's going to be gone. Soriano's going to be gone. Uh, Ilgu Park is fine. Langarak's fine. Uh, Kim Jong-hoon should be fine once he gets back from the under-23s. I might, I might need to invest in some goalkeepers from uh, contenders. Vaco goal. Vaco? Who is Vaco? Oh, Kaziashvili. Oh, no, that's Valeri. He has scored, mind you. Oh, is that what you call him? Vaco? Because he's like a name like that. He, he's he's a banger, this guy. He's been scoring well for. He's had a lot of few few shitters. Hey, why is it with the Chinese league, man? All the, all all of those Chinese league players are scoring like mad. So he's he would be a decent player for me to pick up as well, wouldn't he? At forty six quid. The fact that he's playing at striker, although this season he's had good, good AA. Not bad there either. Maybe I need to, like this Bruno Nazario as well, does look with the forward card. There's none of him on the market. Surprise, surprise. Lunike's picked one up. He Honestly, Lunike is such like a, if you just focus on like one league or one region, you can, you can get so much value out of this. Lunike stole the Super Air off you. Oh, did he? £256 10 days ago. This guy's probably thinking he he, he pulled a pulled a blinder, <laughs> made two hundred twenty good profit off of him. You were both offering at the same time, was you? Here's what's mad though, right? Lunite's got banging players here. Look at that; he's got Bruno Nazaro forward there. He's projected thirteenth here, which would be a tier two, and. Probably three boxes, which is grand. But then for everything else that he's got going on here, all of these cool players and stuff, he's actually not winning much, is he? In spite of having, like, very good players. And that's where sometimes my strategy of let's just keep everything pays, pays like, far more dividends. I'm getting an... Ins I don't even know how many boxes I'm getting, but it's a lot. Hopefully Texiera can, uh, as I say, bag another decisive would be nice. He's still on. <laughs> I don't think I'm getting relegated in more than like three divisions this season, this, this week as well, which is nice. Getting promoted Division 4, promoted Division 3. Getting promoted Division 5 twice. Getting relegated in Classic. This, I'm actually happy to get relegated in. Because it just means next week in Division 3, I'm going to have a better chance of a reward. And otherwise, look at that. One, two, three, four, five, six more promotions from Challenger. Contender, I've got one promotion, two promotions, and then a couple of relegations. Not bad. Just not bad. Four points away from cash and champ in season is pure pain. Is that what you are, Josh, is it? Oh, it's a uh, red. Red those cheeks. Red sheet. Sorry, red sheet. Oh, damn. That's, that's pretty pain as well, isn't it? Fontas DMP. 17 points away from a box. I 
actually 240. You missed out by a fair bit there, didn't you? Classic again. Not in season. Looking at. Oh here. Oh yeah. That is pain. Especially because I I didn't see it, but that big chance missed in like the 94th or 97th minute or whatever it was. That goes in. I don't know who gets the assist either, but if it goes in, you may well have pushed up to like that top 50. Here's what's mad though now as well, right? So I, I, I made... Then Leno loses points. Only three though. Um... I actually bought a player for a collection. Look at that. Because I bought Garnacho. I offered this guy £1.50 for Ericsson, and he accepted it. I was like, damn, there, there's a few more £1 players. Gordon lost the assist for the foul. Oh, did he? Oh, yeah, when they went 1-0 up initially. £1.50 for this Ericsson. And... It's entirely possible that he plays... I don't know if he's retired from international football, but I, I, I don't think he'll play for Man United really anymore. But he's only 32 years old. Like It's a good collection piece. There was a few... I offered for a few others as well, and they just didn't... Nobody bought. Nobody, nobody accepted, but... What have we got? Lindelof at £1.79. Like I'm only, uh, what, 60 points away from... The 2%. Another £1 player as well. I can't remember. It might have been Donny. Like, even for starters, like, there's a lot of, like, Rafa Varane at £4. Luke Shaw, when he's fit. Like, you know, wan at £3. Like, yeah, Casemiro at £3.60 is banging value. When he's, if he's fit, he starts, doesn't he? That's actually an insane price. Am I being dumb or is that like crazy? Has he been linked to Saudi, has he? I'm not, like, after I bought Ericsson, I thought to myself, don't buy these now. Wait until the season's fully finished and people are offloading them because I reckon like these two, three pound players will become like one pound or less. He's also shite. Powered by Wilson Manafort. Why did it drop so much? A mul multitude of reasons, mate, honestly. <laughs> Who have I got? See, I don't actually feel like I need to spend money on like that, the, uh, that Brazilian guy that you talked about, sorry, Red Josh, because I've still got Idrissi God knows what's happening with Preciado. Song Min Q, Brandon Vasquez, Brunetta, Cecinia, Bo, Lee Dong Jun, Zhong Shi In, and he's actually doing very well with his new, new team. Dil Rosen, Angulo, Bongonda for a while. Like, I have got so much depth. At strikers but, uh, for the forwards is Harold Preciado like done done is he has he been like suspended for two years like it was projected like is he just out now yeah Chong In is doing decent since he's been at Sangju Sangmu an assist two goals against Huangju at least it's an option anyway. Came first in Champ Rare Division 2 in season this week. GG's Cameron. Idrissi may be joining Monterey in the summer. They want him. Wouldn't that be amazing? Mate, imagine that. Idrissi. Uh, Brandon Bathketh. And uh, who's a midfielder? The other Donny. Houston need to sign Preciado now. Yeah, Canales, yeah. Yeah, see, like, in fact, my, my, my contender classic rare team is a very, very, very good team. Well, 
with uh, Canales as well. Although Canales and Adrissi are obviously going to lose football pretty soon for a, for a month or two. But that's a big four. I, 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 I think Harold Preciado, mate, is uh, suspended. Yeah, suspended by Mexico's anti-doping committee. Provisionally suspended over a test from January 2024. The club said that the former Deportivo Cali star has a period of five days to request a new analysis of the test in accordance with the procedures detailed by the specialised anti-doping organisation. That's the most recent news, it looks like. I wonder if Emekez ends up in Challenger. It's mad. It's below MLS. Yeah, yeah, it is. He tried to appeal, didn't see any more news. Preciado is training Colombia for now until it's settled. Is there a likely date on wh when there's an outcome? SCF08. What's your gallery name, SCF08? You, you must literally win, like, everything. Like, people, I've always find that people have, like, Crazy, crazy knowledge must surely just be like, but like banking off of so rare. You don't know, fairs. Yeah, they do have Corona as well, Jay. Yeah, but he, he I like, he's, he has like whatever, like personal problems and stuff. So he's not really, uh, not really playing much. Good news is, is and and Gadju doesn't seem to have uh, caused me any concerns here. My name is Pevla. But I'm not a big winner. Oh, fair enough. Not a big winner. Man sat 30. <laughs> Man sat 34th and cap 220. In boxes at super air level. What did you miss out on 30? Oh, you need like a Manafa decisive, don't you? GG's on the dub. Yeah, it's not bad. It's not a bad game week. Again, it's just about re realigning expectations, right? How would you get into this game? Do you need crypto? No, you don't anymore, uh, Hugh. You used to have to have crypto, but you can just deposit direct from like bank account or wallet these days. Um, the the pre the the idea of it is like very much like FPL. It's just fantasy football. You just have a goalkeeper, defender, midfielder, attacker, and an another. You have to like kind of learn and understand the competition structure because there's Premier League champions, which is a top five leagues, challenger, which is like an, another batch of like not so good leagues, and then contenders, which is all of the leagues left over. So obviously, if you've got like a goalkeeper and defender in contender, a midfielder and a forward from challenger, and then a you know a midfielder from champion, you can't really play them all together. Um, but Torres just legit. So it's just a lot of fun. What is it? It's quarter two. Let me check my... Uh... Looks fun. It is, it is fun. And especially nowadays, like it is way, way, way less pricey to get involved. Like even just for one limited team, like the lowest value team two years ago, you're honestly probably looking at like three, four hundred euros because of the goalkeeper mostly. Um, but now you could probably build a full limited team for like 20, 30 euros. Check. See if we've had any last minute anomalies. He's uh, on the bench, expected 100% everywhere. He's out of the team, probably expected. Martinelli's there. Mansky will probably start, if not get sub minutes anyway. So 220 rare, I don't care. Jesus, I think Jesus might start tonight. It's going to be weird because I've got Martinelli, Jesus, and Jorginho in lineups. And I think only two of those three will start. You know, this Cap 270 team with Jorginho. If Jorginho doesn't start, it's, it's unlikely he'll get many minutes. I've got a limited for £10 this week. One me a box. Damn, nice.
you've got your France stack ready for the Euros. Yeah, so for me, I'm, I'm ready to start like looking at picking up teams for the Euros now. Um, I've actually done a really, really good job of saving what I've won over the last uh, like three or four weeks with what I'm going to win today as well. It will put me over a thousand cash, um, which has me al almost able to buy Mbappe. You don't see Jorginho not starting. If Jorginho starts, which I, will, I agree, I think Jorginho will start, um, it means that only one of Gabriel or Martinelli will start. Gabriel Jesus or Martinelli will start. Because it will, if Jorginho starts, it means that Havertz is the striker. If Havertz is a striker, Saka's just going to be playing right wing, which leaves either Martinelli or Jesus for that left wing spot. Now, it's not impossible that, that you know, subs get them both minutes and maybe even both decisives. And it's also not impossible that, you know, Jesus comes on for, like, Jorginho and Havertz moves down into midfield. Texiera subbed off. GG's to him, mate. Another, another banging amount of points. Didn't quite get me that box reward, but good to see him performing well. And I know now that I can actually trust him a little bit more. In uh, Well, I say trust him in good lineups. He's actually in an insane lineup. Armani and Diaz did great. Armani, unfortunately, couldn't quite keep that clean sheet. Um, Texiera did amazing, even as El Capitan. Braithwaite did okay. Just that you and Bit Grand, man. I just needed any reasonable player there to get myself a couple of boxes. But again, the good news is we don't get relegated. So Beijing Guan is over. Guan. And Gadju finished on 33 points. We love to see it. We love to see it. With the Bitcoin halving coming up, is it not better to have your ETH in your wallet? So if when ETH goes up, the value in your wallet will also increase. Do, like, if you have that much faith in crypto, yeah. Um, you know, when, when crypto was kind of crashing, I changed everything to be in cash rather than ETH. Um, I, I don't, I'm not against ETH. I also have like a different game that I play that's like solely ETH uh, based. I think so. do a free twenty for the Euros, like they did with World Cup. I hope so. Yeah. Would I go Martinelli or Jesus? I, I can't. I can't call it, mate. I can't call it. I've got both of them in lineups, so I can't call it. Yeah. If genuinely, if you've got other options. It might be best to go for neither Martinelli nor Jesus. Um, I, I probably actually do have a better option than Martinelli here. Has to be in that uh, 54 or lower range. We've got Alzugaray, Ozduev, tough game for him. Could put Busquets or Samir in there. Could put Jordi Alba in there. Could put Gressel in there. But I don't necessarily think they are way better options even as Martinelli as a sub. We also have Trossard that may get the left wing start. Yeah, do you know what? Especially after his goal against Brighton as well. It was a uh, it was a good finish, wasn't it? Not using Dembele or Marquinhos in any alliance this week. Um I think I've got his main Dembele in a lineup somewhere I believe. Limited version anyway, maybe not. Um, Marquinhos, I'm not using because he's just come back from injury. And I'd be, if he even does start, this is a tough game for him to come back from. You know, I know he got on, the, on, on against Clermont Foot, but of course he had six games out, missed out here as well. Uh, that was on the bench, mind you. Um, so... For Marquinhos to come back after that injury straight away to Barcelona, that's like that's just going to be a nightmare game. Like, listen, he might score well, but it's a risky, a risky game. Um, and then for Ousmane Dembele, similarly, it's it's just going to be tough for him to perform well against PSG. You know, they're a good team. He didn't he didn't even get off the bench here, did he? No, he stayed on the bench there. It was uh, quite surprising they used Tenas in goal instead of Navas as well. 
Navas was just out of the team. Kimpembe still out of the team. That's mad. Fernandez, Barcola out. Geraldo out. So, uh, no, you know, like obviously it's Champions League. The, the good news about some of these lineups, like for example, this lineup here is really good because like Champions League is going to be tough. Obviously, I'm hoping that Van Dijk and Mohamed Salah both start, but it's the European, sorry, the, the, the uh, kind of like Sudamericana and Libertadores games that are going to be the most one sided, you know? So, for example, in this lineup here, okay, I've got Jorginho again, but Grimaldo, Hulk, POV, and Marchesian are like massive favourites. Whereas, for example, if you've got Donnarumma or Ter Stegen, you can't really rely on either goalkeeper. If you've got um, Real Madrid or whoever is in goal for Man City, you just can't really rely on who's going to perform well. Whereas if you've got, you know, um, Franco Armani, you, you're kind of pretty safe in the fact that he's got a good matchup. He's going to start like, yeah, not again, like, especially with the L15, 30, like, especially like because of the, um, the requirements on this one, because of like the, you know, L15 of 40 or lower and only two of 55 or over. First of all, the scores are going to just going to be all over the place. But second of all, it, yeah, if you just get five starting players, you are probably good for a box. If you just get five starters in a lineup, so I'm, I'm, yeah, generally I'm content with the lineups here. How many? I don't even know how many boxes are coming in limited. Twelve thousand six hundred entrants. Only fifteen hundred boxes. That's a lot of entrants for for that many boxes, isn't it? And then for the rare, we've got three thousand entrants. 800 boxes and then at super rare there's oh yeah 100 358 entrance for 100 boxes obviously one of the other things that like i think so rare haven't really taken account for is the kind of like the, the, the trickle down of cards in other divisions like look at what I'm able to run in limited I've literally got five rares in limited and it's like there might like I might only have two teams here if I couldn't put rares in whilst I like the ability to play down I don't think it's reflected in the rewards The other thing as well is, like, I really like the boxes that are on offer. You've got 3% chance of a jersey, 83% chance of a level up fair, 5% chance of a tier 5 super rare, 4% chance of a tier 4 super rare, 3% chance of a tier 3, 1.5% chance of a tier 1, and half a percent of a, sorry, a tier 2 and half percent of a tier 1. Wouldn't it have been fun if they just did it 5, 4, 3, 2, 1? Is there no uh, stars available? No, that's, I mean, that's fine. But. And then here as well. Oh, there's a star rare in the, uh, in the red boxes. Interesting that they've decided not to do double boxes or triple boxes for people finishing higher on this one. With how many entries on Limited decided? Go with 240 instead and throw in Continental Knights. How many entrants have you got in uh, 240? Eleven thousand boxes go down to or rewards go down to one thousand. Yeah, it's not bad. I actually might have um, <clears throat> a crap ton of uh, I forgot a crap ton of uh, boosts. I've got to actually start using my boost because you know it's like. I, d I definitely think it's smart to save your boosts for cards that are like level sort of 17 because it takes the longest to get those ones up. But also, it's one of those things where it's like, how many rare boosts have I got? I've got seven rare boosts now. 
I've got two super rare boosts. And I've got 17 limited boosts. Yeah, I, I agree with you, Sarah Josh. I think boosting in season cards as early as possible could potentially give you a massive, massive advantage. The only thing with Super Rare Boost, I've no cards anywhere near a decent level. Yeah, and that and that's a problem. Like even even like for this Sergio Busquets, there's just no point in me boosting him now. Like I'm two level well, one and three quarter levels away from having him at max level. Already got him level twenty. Got Grimaldo level twenty. I really should get a bigger collection for Grimaldo, shouldn't I? Like he's one of the premium scorers on the site. How much to get him to like three percent? Nearly got two percent on him. I literally only need ten more points to get two percent. Oh look at that, Gil Diaz at three pounds. I used to have a Gil Diaz, Pizzy at two pounds. I mean, it's pointless to just not buy this player, isn't it? So uh, here's two pound twenty. He's the only, he's the only one there as well. Give me him. Give me him. Here we go. He's now gets. Oh, just before, just before three p.m. as well. Look at that. If I if Grimaldo does something mad here and I win by a point on something, it's that. So you could get Mate and Gil Diaz. The difference is now to th to to three percent. I need one hundred and fifty. Um, I want to take uh, just Benfica. Season is this 21 22? I want to have a look if there's any uh, any jersey mints. There is Yaremchuk 100 pounds for him, though, is a joke, isn't it? Not, not paying that. They've got three starting goalkeepers next year, possibly if. Odysseus leaves Forest. Who's that? Am I buying K League and J League for the special weekly coming up? Um, I hadn't considered it to be honest. I don't even know what the K League special weekly is. To be fair, what is it? Well, the Liverpool special weekly there. Oh, the Benfica collection. Oh, oh yeah, I see. Yeah. Uh, news where do they talk about it why does it matter if they're a jersey match or not uh, you just get more collection points was in the so rare roadmap update this one No confirmed dates yet. Oh, okay. Yeah, all 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 San all San definitely has me interested in an all San collection. Um, you know the fact that I've already got two first owned all San players. It might be smart to like boost these guys straight away. Do you know what I mean? Just put three level ups on them, and and get them get them up to like that level five level six as quick as possible but probably not until level five or level six yeah see look at that i'm almost I'm like i'm half, over halfway to two percent and if i picked up like some of the rookie cards how many have they got just one jesus christ if i picked up the rookie card even as like first owned rookie as well um
Yeah, see here. I might watch that. Instant buy at fifteen pounds, which I'm not spending. I was mentioned before J League new season cards, even so hopefully it comes in the next month. Okay. Um Yeah, I might 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 bid on him. If I could pick him up for even like £10 or less than, he'd be huge points. I might actually wait for his jersey mint to come. If we can get number 33, first owned rookie card, he'll be worth like, what, 100 points? Yeah, I know, I know Lee Dong is leaving for the military, I do know. Um, but even with like Sol Yong Vu, He's good, isn't he? Let's have a look at like the old San top scorers. I know like one of the issues that I always have with like J League and K League though is that they just rotate a lot, don't they? Ludwigson. What a hairstyle that is, man. I'll be waiting too long for that. Maybe. Yeah, I just I hate players like this. He's been at the club for so long and he's just never really done anything. Got Sol Yong Vu. I'd have to get the goalkeeper, which I would go and get. I don't know. What's the dif difference in price between in season and classic? Damn. It's actually not, not even that bad. I'd be able to get his, uh, his card on auction. What's his score saying as well? Decent. Decent. The odd, the odd stinky score, but generally speaking, very decent. Any of the new IPO players on stocks? Uh, there wasn't for last week. Who's in it this week? Jensen, Zuma. May, may, maybe Joe Gomez, but probably not. I probably won't pick up any of these IPOs. I really should like um, start buying players just off the transfer market, honestly, here. It's just another one of those things that's so time-consuming, isn't it? Rotate a lot on news can be hard to get. Yeah, I completely appreciate that. So I suppose you'd look at like minutes played, right? So Kim Young Won. Where does he play? He plays at centre back. He didn't play here. Was he injured for that? Benched here probably for rotation because too many games. Kim Won Kyung looks okay. Especially for his price point as well. I'd have to wait for one of his in-season cards to come, but he's usually their main centre-back. So I'd, I'd probably pick up him, have him and Sol Yong Vu together with the goalkeeper. Um, Yong Won Sang, mate, I remember, I remember getting him years ago. So funny, funny thing about Yong Won Sang, right? Back in this region here, when I first started looking at Asia, so many of these green scores are as a substitute. Look at those scores as a sub in this area here. And I bought him because uh, the reason why I kept getting subbed on was for their under 23 rules. And so even though he was only getting subbed on, he was actually getting like, look at this, like 67 minutes, 63 minutes and stuff. And I was like, oh, damn, that's a bit of a cheat code. Like... He's, he's, he's not a starter, so he's cheap on so rare because people don't think he starts every game, yet he's actually getting like loads of, loads of minutes. And then it turned out he was just bang average. So he didn't really live up to the, the potential, did he? And so, yeah, this, this season, when did the season start for them? 450. Started and got an assist, started and got an assist. Then got the 66 minutes and, and still got a reasonable score, to be fair. Like, you know, if he had started that game, it'd be close to like 50 or above. Started and got nothing. Started and got 16 AA. And then the last four games has struggled to get into the team. He's just had a few injuries keeping him out. Yeah, remember Nakagawa? What, what's, what's up with him these days? Hirohito Nakagawa. Damn, he's actually... <laughs> He scored last game. 
What a guy. Back when these scores were actually like serviceable. John Book have been shocking this season. Finally, they oh, have they finally sacked Petrescu? Good because they were like honestly, I bought a John Book stack, right? Because of uh, because of um, hold on, because of a uh, G song, yeah, not not yeah, Park Jin's up right. This guy was a bit of a cheat code because he, he has midfielder cards, but he had some defender cards and his defender scores were banging. I mean, look at those scores there, right? So I bought him and went into a full Jean Book stack. And then not long after, they, they brought in Dan Petrescu and he, he just changed everything. He was just like, he started playing them in different positions. He stopped playing some of the key players. He, he brought in that defender. Oh, if I can remember his name, man. He was he was god awful. He's probably still there, to be fair. But yeah, Petrasek. And I was on I was on to win a division, which we're we're going back. I'll tell you exactly where it was. Here, we're going back to July twenty twenty three. So the prize pools were still massive back then. John Book Motors had a clean sheet. I needed the clean sheet to win the division because Kim Jong Hoon, as you look, look, you can see who I've got in, right? I've got a full, like, full collection here. Cho Gu Song scored. Kim Jong Hoon had like 75 points. Um, Paik Xiong Ho was on like 58 or whatever. And then uh, I don't think uh, Park, oh yeah, Park Jin's shop was on like 55 points. He comes on and gives away a penalty straight away. I'm like, what are you fucking doing, man? He cost me a like first place prize. Ninety eighth. He got, he got like he actually had about ten minutes after after all was said and done. But and so ever, ever since then, I just hated Petrescu because he, he just changed how good they were. So hopefully now he's gone, they get a little bit of stability back in. Would be nice, wouldn't it? Um. Lee Myung Jae, I can't. Oh, Yong Won Sang is actually fifth, sixth in uh, minutes for the team. Him, I'm not interested in at all. Him, I'm not really interested in at all. Yong Won Sang has got midfielder cards now, though. I w it might be prudent to get his like forward card. Assuming he has forward cards, yeah. Sixty-four pound for his forward card. That's not awful because I, obviously I could use this forward card. Um, in the in season, their forward situation is horrid. Always fifty-fifty, and and that's why getting Yon Won Sang as a forward card could be a really good alternative. Ben Olsen, Houston Dynamo head coach on Mexican stock star Hector Herrera's return and his reintegration in team. Check out the full interview now. What's he saying? He's Ben Olsen, year two with the Houston Dynamo. Everybody knows him from DC United. All right, so I'm walking out of the stadium, kind of getting out of the stadium, and I go by the bus and talking about the game. And he says, oh, we can't wait. Yeah, we can't wait. We're so focused right now as a group, uh, you know, trying to get results without, again, this this return to play is, is going to be day to day and week to week, you know, and he's going to take two steps forward, one step back. We don't know how this is going to really go. Um, when he gets back, of course, the level can be raised, uh, back right? in the next and few that's, weeks. That's our hope. That's I mean, he's been training. Start. Herrera. Okay. Versus Austin. Mate. Hector, like, honestly, he was, he might've even been the best player on the platform. For a, for a short period. Look at those scores, man. He is just Mr. Goddamn Reliable, isn't he? Look at those home scores. That is wild. That's including the red card there as well. That is wild. That was Thursday, Friday. 
So you think he's going to be back for Austin, do you? What I would expect is the first couple of games back, he won't score well and he won't play 90 minutes. I would probably target St. Louis as putting him back into a priority lineup again. Um, yeah, looking at this Olsan collection, though, I actually don't think an Olsan collection would be good. I do think getting... Oh, they've got so many just deadbeat players, haven't they? Almost to the point where getting Sol Yong Vu to 2% might be the play. And once he's at 2%, just let it be there. You know, may, maybe work on the collection to get 5% for when he becomes classic. Because at this moment in time, it, it would make sense to get uh, Jo Hyun Woo into the team and have him combined with Sol Yong Vu. But beyond that, they just don't have... But maybe, uh, is it Seung Bum that's the, uh, that centre-back that you said was good? No, he's, he's garbage. Top scorers, so Ludwigson, Kim Yong Won, he's the centre-back, isn't he? The, the regular starter. So I'd probably pick up him as well, and then just go for some, like, Ulsan stacks at home. Hopefully Dorsey picks it up. He should when Herrera's back. Yeah, see, they've got Adam. Yeah, see, this guy doesn't even start often, does he? No. Their forwards are a bit of a nightmare. Who do they have in the forward roles? Kim Ji Hyun. Yu Ming Ku. Who did he used to play for? He hasn't been at All Sand the whole time, has he? Jeju. Yeah, see, I recognise his name. He, he's a he was a good scorer anyway. He actually played for Korea as well. That's always a sign of a good player, isn't it? When they're getting game time against it, like for Korea Republic, it's always a sign that they're decent. But for All Sand, I mean, it's not bad scores. Oh, is this the uh, K-League Special Weekly? K-League and J-League. Three game week long prize pool. That's not bad, to be fair. Maybe I should go and get some uh, K-League and J-League proper teams. Depends on the, like, what setup they have. If they have it as like a 3-2 split for in-season, I actually think I've got a reasonable amount of uh, K-League and J-League players to be able to... Uh, Compete. Like I've got enough goalkeepers, but old old season. Both season. Yeah, I've only got Sol Yong Vu and Lee Lee Dong Kyung here, and then Park Che Jun who doesn't play, and Lee Ho Jae who looks all right, but I would definitely need to improve. Points will be very low in those specials because there just isn't many smashers. I mean, it's had 50% more by comparison. Yeah, but I, like, I, I just think, like, the like look, look at the price points of players. I think that's why the prize pools are quite low. Like, if we even just get, like, a, somebody like this guy here, he has literally played every single game for the last, like, 10 games or whatever, barely misses a game, and his classic is three quid. I don't know if anyone's paying more than about six or eight quid for his in-season. But at that point, it's like your only stumbling block is going to be goalkeepers. If you're entitled to one or two classic season players and you've already got some goalkeepers, you're looking there as part of your gallery restructure. Yeah, smart. Like Even just looking at this for me, Josh, right? This is where I need to like be a bit more smart with how I, how I work. Like, Let's just go scarcity to rare and take the season and filter off. I have five goalkeepers, two of which are um, for collection bonus, but I think, I think you said I could even get rid of some of these cards now, can't I? So even if it's like getting a five before him or whatever, 
probably probably have a better chance of selling this guy. But uh, I have two two starting goalkeepers, three if you count Langerak. Um, I've got we saw by. Oh, so there we go. I've got three starting uh, defenders, three starting goalkeepers, four starting midfielders, and he's going to be going, and three starting forwards. And it's like, I just need to a little bit of depth there. That's it. I've got 320 too many points in his John Book collection. The, the rare collection? I didn't even finish that collection either. Oh yeah, Jesus Christ! Because they've all got the the um like ten day points and stuff now, right? Yeah, Kim Jong Hoon is away for a month. Yeah, with the under twenty threes, I I I was already aware of that. Jong Min Ki is not even that bad at eighty four pounds as having the backup because he actually gets like a really reasonable amount of game time as well, doesn't he? Kim Jong Hoon. Although he gave away a penalty last game. Yeah, it's probably he gets enough game time for it to be worth having him. And if his uh wow, his in season is only seventy seven pounds. Jesus Christ. I wonder if I could get his uh this I wonder if yeah, I wonder if I can get this one because it goes straight on to five percent for a bit cheaper. But again, do I really want John Book players right now, I don't know. The thing about this uh, this collection here is I'd want to get rid of players that potentially Let me go for somebody else. I'd want to get rid of players that like I paid almost nothing for that are sometimes sorry day to make it a bit difficult. Let's go to my gallery. Jean Book Scarcity Rare Apply. Season twenty three apply. Yes. So Kim Jong hoon Song Min Kyu I'd want to keep. Park Jin Sop I'd want to keep. Kim Tae Yang. Sold for five pounds for the in season. Like I've generated five, six quid from absolute shitters in the last twenty four hours at your level could be even more. Yeah, it, it it definitely could be. But like I'm more interested about trying to find somebody that's like that I paid not a lot for that still has some value. I mean, Boateng's probably one of the best ones. I could get four quid for him and I've won him, so <laughs> he can go. But also, if they've got change of management now, it's probably a really bad time to sell any of them. And it's probably a better time to just l let's see who gets them. Now could be the best time to potentially buy the better players. I already own them all, mate, to be fair. <laughs> But yeah, definitely, definitely some improvement to be made in certain areas of my gallery. That's a good, uh, a good return overall. Go on, I'm going to do it. Let's count how many boxes I've got. Also, need to remove the fort. If I can't sell someone, I paid a lot for. It's just going to kill you. It, you are right, but also like, do it again. Hold on. There's, like, if I was in a different personal kind of position, I guess, maybe I'd be feeling differently about it. But, like, I just don't think there's any point, for example, selling get the first rare guy. I just think there's no point selling this guy. I only paid three quid for him in the first place. And he's worth less than a pound. And it's like, I'm... I'm I'm just not desperate for a pound. I would rather sell somebody else that 
could actually generate some value back, like like the goalkeeper almost, like when he loses under 23 utility, getting rid of him, like Song Min Q as well, because he's also a very hit and miss player. Scores reasonably well sometimes, doesn't always play like he's the sort of player I'd rather get rid of. But then if I get rid of him, there's no point having the Choi Chol Soons. He's 37. Yeah, he is 37. Well old. What else did we have that was like crazy cheap? <laughs> These two here. He's only 26. He's even getting minutes as well. Not that I would play him. Well, maybe I would in like a Division 4. And again, it's £1.42. Which actually looks like it's a massive under list. Because he's been selling for like, oh no, there you go. There's a few like pounds there. And Hankyo won, 33 years old. Still reasonably old, I suppose. But again, getting minutes. Not that it matters because his scores are shit. I would never play him. I just, I just, I honestly just don't see the value in selling a player like this. I should, I should, I should just take those ones and twos and get them gone and build towards something else. Have you thought about mass trading to a bot? Listen, bots don't want those cards, man. Like, if, if a card's worth £1.50 and I offer it to a bot, they'll offer me about, like, 30p for it. Boxes. My boxes. But then gallery restructures are just going to continue to re reduce your ability. Get it? I do get it. I understand why. Is it, like... I don't know why. <laughs> Even though I know I can sell off loads of my cards and I know that the players that I could buy that would be better are cheaper than they used to be as well. The thing that I really want to do, right, which I have been doing one half of, is winning cards and then selling them, right? Because if I didn't already have them, I obviously didn't want them. Then I look at the cards that I've won recently and I'm like, oh, let me not sell him until after the Copper America because he's going to get some games. Let me, I mean, he, like, let me not sell him because he's actually legit. How he's a tier three, I don't know. I, I know he's going to be going to Wasimadudar, but let me not sell him because of that. This guy, there's no reason to keep this guy. No reason. Oh, actually, he's a bit of a banger of a scorer. Jesus. Oh, a Bodo, he was good. Now, all of a sudden, it's like, he actually came on and scored as well. Look at that. Now I'm looking at this guy and I'm thinking, actually, hey, if I get 50 quid for him, that might actually be, oh no, he was selling 150. He will annihilate the MLS. He's so, so good. Okay, so now I'm not selling him, right? Good news is that's an MLS in season forward I've got. Carlos Terran. What do I want with a card like this, man? absolute pile of shit and then i look at his price and i just think do i care about four pounds and i don't care about four pounds but do i care about selling a hundred four pound players and having 400 pounds yeah i do and so yeah let me let me just list Terran actually because he is a prime example of a card that i will hold on to for dear life being like but what if when he's 27 years old He's playing like he's found his home and he's getting 100 points a game. Fuck off. Get out of the gallery, you prick. Um, who else have we got? There's no point selling goalkeepers. Has this guy ever been on the bench? He's not. 22 years old. Yeah, go, go, go. Goalkeepers are interesting, but this guy, he's already 22 and he's doing nothing. Oh, I'll, I'll, hold on. Like, Kuke is a good one to have as well for me. He's actually in lineups for me. Sasa Lukic, he can just go.
I'll, I'll, I'll take an offer on him if it comes in. We've got Chancellor. Now, I actually quite like Chancellor. I think he's better than Vrioni. And I think he could he could be good. And the fact that I have him, Vrioni, both in season and heel is a really nice place to be. So although I, I did actually look at buying him, but I, I just don't think there's I don't I don't feel the need to sell him. I think he's got good potential. So Young Vu I like. Kobayashi. And, and this is where we get into the whole situation again, isn't it? It is expected that Kobayashi will go back to uh where was he before Japan or Korea? I can't even remember. Back to Japan. And then he's getting, now, now all of a sudden he's a decent scorer. The question I've got to ask, I suppose, is if he's actually playing in Japan and scoring, is he even worth more than what he's worth now? Because we've just looked at some very similar-esque scorers to this degree that were like 8 and 10 quid. Two big Japanese wanted him. But if he does go back to Japan and becomes a smasher, I've missed. I've I've sold a good piece, a key piece. I've also got his in season that I could probably get like twenty five quid for. We're holding on to Yuki for months because the windows are shut. Isn't it possible that his contract gets extinguished so he can join? Do they allow like free free? agents to join outside of a contract window. Or is it worth just selling him for 25 quid? He is just going to sit in my gallery doing next to nothing and somebody's going to want to buy him for a uh, Celtic collection, isn't it? Look at Idiguchi. Yes, he's been garbage, isn't he? And now he's worth like five pounds. Yeah, Let, let's just get rid. Get rid. Oh boy, Ashley is gone. Somebody offered me more than I've listed him for. I'm confused. Why would this guy not just buy him? He's. I've listed him for two pounds and he's offered me two pounds twenty six. <laughs> I'm confused. He's actually offered the same ETH amount, mind you. Yeah, the, the ETH must have just risen in that time. Oh. One down. Um, Nakamura. Absolute waste of space. Sells for 50p. 50p is 50p, it guys. 50p is 50p. Bosh. Goodbye, Nakamura. You're another goalkeeper. Also never been on the bench. Has he played any football anywhere? He has been at Toulouse for literally ever. And has been on the bench like five times. Imur is not him. Yeah, if you're 23 years old. in the fr Like, this is the sort of player that I'm like, will he ever, like, again, like holding on to players, right? I'm like, will he ever become a uh, starting goalkeeper in like the second division? Yeah, he's, he's, he's cashing in, isn't he? Why is he upset? Has, has news come out about him or something? Let me list up my Emir. I'll list him up for 50 quid. I'll, 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 be, I'll be nice to people. I'll be nice to people. I'll pop him up for 50 and see if, uh, see if anyone sees him and thinks, oh. Oh, to lose our second division? Oh, Jesus Christ, it's even worse, isn't it? All right, Bruno Guimaraes stays. Mark Anthony K. He's just garbage.
No, they are not. You got 23 apps in the fifth tier. Yeah, Jesus. Samuelino. See, Samuelino is a card that I get a decent amount of cash for that I can't trust because he's, he just rotates positions, doesn't he? Nine pounds is his cheapest in season. Oh, he has actually like kind of cemented that position as his own on that left hand side or in the center mid. Damn, is he, is he worth a sell? Jesus Christ, look how good he is. Look how good he was for Gil Vicente. He knows a forward with a mid card, playing left, mostly left wing back. Yeah. Is that guy's transfer market? We've got one game in the Coupe Gambarda, Gambardella. 23 games in N3 Occitani. And that is literally it. Is that goals conceded? So we conceded 30 goals in 23. Yeah, goodbye, friend. Why does he have an anal bead trophy? What? Oh, yeah, he has. Yeah, look at that. He's got one... French second tier champion. I mean, he just hasn't won that, has he? He wasn't there. But if, situation with Samuelino are interesting because, like, would I ever buy this player? Would he be work for my gallery? The answer is just no. I would much prefer, like, if I was going to get a La Liga centre mid in season limited, I'd much prefer, like, De Jong or Gundawan or somebody that's an absolute slayer, not somebody that's got. Two, four, six, seven, eight dark greens in their entire career. So you can go. 70 limited. Do I have anything? Oh, is he in a, he's in a lineup this, this week. He can stay. He, I like him. I do like him. He, he gets some good scores. He's already got six dark green scores. And he's only 23 years old. So <laughs> he, he's all right. He's all right. <laughs> um, yeah, we don't mind that. That's all, that's all right. Guzman, pointless selling him again, isn't it? Look at that. I, I actually wanted to sell him when I won him as well. Um, and then he got injured the week that I won him, so that's annoying. Vektovic and Hansen. Yeah, I mean, this guy's pound twenty. Wait, Thorpe bought him? Is this guy some... Must be for collection bonuses. Not Sion Tehansin. This guy. Ah, my lover. And then this guy. He starts. He plays. He's all right. Maybe now's a really good time to sell him as well, actually. Coming to the back end of the season off of a, off of a heater of a score. £3.20. Give me that. I don't know how much Guzman has an upside from where he is. Literally just to use, that's all. J just to actually be in teams. Another goalkeeper. Jansen, I already sold cells. <laughs> cells sold. Cells sells and cells sold. Now this guy gets some bench appearances, so he's a little bit more like attractive to keep anyway. 19 years old, already had a few bench appearances. Um... Never played a game, mind you, but if he's getting on the bench, probably worth it. I don't know if the Eagles are likely to stay up or not. Go ahead, Eagles. Oh, they're actually having a cracking season for them. Jesus Christ. Fair play. Yeah, he'll, he'll, he'll stay. Um, Park Che Jun. Doesn't even get on the bench. Wow. No in-season cards. Nine pounds is in season. All right. Off you pop, mate. Take a cheeky little... I'll, I'll listen up for a tenner. 
and we'll, we'll see on some offers. This is where I think the spreadsheet could help. Could use that third column as notes. Oh, I will. I will do it. I will do it. Rodri. Damn. I didn't even know I won him. Isn't he, like, supposed to be mad? Because he was a future stars in FIFA. That's why I think he's supposed to be mad. He might be shit. I don't know. His in-season just sold for £11, though. That's wild. And now there's one listed for £5. I wouldn't hold players like this because if they were ever they got second tier, was going to be covered. <laughs> yeah, but goalkeepers, man, like you know, he's like worth six or eight quid right now to sell. If he ever get, if he any point in his career starts starting and is scored on so rare, he's worth like 50, 60, 80 quid. Yeah, eleven pound insta buy says somebody wanted wanted him for collection purposes. See, I feel like with someone like him, again, it's like there's no downside to sell now. He's got game time for Spanish under-21s. He's getting game time for Real Betis. He's 23 years old, mind you, now. And it's like, at 23 years old, you'd have expected him to kind of break in a bit more. I'll list him. I'll list him. I'm, I'm never, ever, ever, ever going to use him. Received an offer from So Red Josh. Yusuf Maziz. Oof. Probably way if, if you're offering me this, Josh, he's probably worth about three times this amount. Is he primed for a low move? Yeah, maybe. I, I, I genuinely think I could probably get like five or six hundred pounds for Maziz. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know how many games they've got left. Rare at three months ago at 824. Obviously, the game's changed since then. I'm not even displeased like with my price for him either. I've won so much with him. The last Super SL was 0 0.02, so you think it's kind of, kind of fair. One I've got forward or shoulder, shoulder. Got eight games to go this season as well. Crazy thing is, is I don't use him. What did you offer? 0 0.008. I'll probably settle for 0 0.1. I'll probably accept 0.1. I've already made good profit on him. I think that would be a reasonable amount of ETH for me personally to accept. I'll leave that up to you. Um, what did we get to next? Bardi. Now I kept Bardi because I've got some uh, Trabs on sport players and he's all right and he's in season and they've got really good running and he plays internationally. Who have they got internationally? Faroe Islands, Armenia, Latvia, Armenia, Latvia, Faroe Islands. Oh, that's not until, like, September. I'd ha I suppose I'd have to look at, like, let me think about it. All good, all good. He'll still be there for me. Um, yeah, Bardi's the sort of one where it's like, who have I got in season? Um, no, it's probably actually easier to look on here. Season challenger.
I've got no playing goalkeeper. I've got Portius. Don't need a playing goalkeeper in season, I suppose. I've got Portius. I've got that Grigon, Bardi. Oh, do you know what? Yeah, I've, I've, he's somebody I don't want to sell. He's somebody I could actually win some, uh, some cash with. What's my lowest rated in season? Oh, I can get a Division 4 in season. Yeah, he, he's, he's got to stay, I think. How come uh, Luro played for Cincinnati? Is he expected to play again? I literally bought him for collection. Celentano is injured for a bit. Is he? He's the third goal. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like, that's why did he play then? Like, that's a bit mad. If Celentano's out, why was it him that started? But either way, my in season cards, Portius, lovely. Bardi, Yuxek's okay as well, but Bardi's good. Pellegrino, supposedly good, and then leaves me with like matchup based situation here. That is a team that can win cash. Question is, though, whether he's the best option, right? Could you get a better player for less than Bardi? Or just somebody that makes more sense than Bardi? Like, you know, an MLS player that's going to have now months of utility rather than a guy that's going to have just weeks of utility. But they've got Sivaspor, Kayserispor, Gaziantep, Samsonspor, Istanbulspor, and Karaguchu. All they, they have got an insane run in. Uh, uh, prefer cash, please, Josh. Yeah. Um, might, might buy an Mbappe. <laughs> might buy an Mbappe. Who knows? Yeah. Um, how much is Bardi selling for? Fourteen pounds. I, I just don't actually think there is with that running that they've got. I think he's a he's a banger option for the rest of the season. I'm happy to keep him. And like when I start working, actually, like so, the first thing we've got to do, Josh, isn't it, is like get rid of a load of crap first, then look at what we actually want to bring in. And then I can revisit players like Bardi and be like, oh, actually, he's not going to fit anywhere, anywhere in my, in my team. Cover. Goodbye, my friend. Good luck with him, Josh. I hope he brings you uh, many happy returns. That's how I've started selling all my red X's. Yeah, fair enough. Fair enough. Who else did I win? So I won Lee Hoje. Probably worth keeping. Um, I feel like he probably will play himself back into a starting spot, but he's been a decent scorer and good for any potential upcoming K-League, J-League uh, weeklies. Asahi Sasaki. Now, the reason why I kept him is because somebody said that he was good. And look at that. He actually got his start 90 minutes. Got a last man tackle. He actually did do very well. If he, if, like, the thing is, here's like all, always the thing that goes in my mind. I see one side of the coin. I'm like, if he gets back to these scores, he will be great to keep. But then I also just look at his DNP list. And it's like, this guy just misses way too many games to actually have faith in, doesn't he? There is somebody, I would just, there is somebody better than him. There just is. There is somebody better than him. So if we could even get like 22, well, I mean 16, 17 pounds was his last offer. If I could even get 20 quid for him, I'd be amazed. James, thanks very much for the 25 months, man. What down did we get to? Him here. It's also his old season card. Don't even think he's worth that. I can't, I can't even lie. Engstead, Milne. Milne is uh, Milne is somebody that should be sold, really, shouldn't he? I know he's about to get the split, but six pounds for Milne. Got 
we are gone for an hour. I want to keep Tengstat. I kind of want to keep them, but also... For an hour, and we gone. Tengstat for £30. What's his, like, projection at Benfica? Any fans know? Talk about how you view it. Glass half four, glass half empty. Yeah, it's true. For now, it's like a very similar, very similar case scenario. Like if slash when he plays, and I didn't even put him in the lineup, in a lineup in this game, if slash when he plays for Zagreb, he's expected to score very well. It's just that he's already missed. Okay, it must have been injury, I suppose. Since his injury, he's actually only missed a game on the bench here, but and a game on the bench here against Rudez and Slaven. And both of those were in game weeks where it was like a lot of a lot of games in quick succession. Outside of that, he's actually been very consistently a 90-minute player for them. He's awful. Nobody really knows what he's doing. It for Tengstat, mate. Tengstat in uh, Tengstat at uh, what was it before? I can't remember Rosenberg. Hey, honestly, this card was going for like two grand at one point. Look at his career at Rosenberg. Just absolutely smashed the entire time he was there. Been at Benfica a long, long, long time and hasn't really... Isn't this his second season at Benfica? It is. Bernal is a starter now, is he? So Bernal is worth keeping then because he's in season and we've got three, six, seven, eight games, including some really favourable matchups as well. That's good to know. This Guiagon is a good scorer. Especially for the tournaments I'm going to be playing in, and Jesus, they've got some favourable matchups. Things that just a weird one, isn't it? Marcos Leonardo should be the strike, striker now that Cabral was flopping. This season went so quick. W it did, didn't it? I just sent you the closest possible representation of Arsenal tactics on PSN. Nice. I will give them a look when I'm on FIFA. I'm going to end stream soon and then come back. What day is it today? Tuesday. And then come back. I was going to do a brand new themed Road to Glory today, but here we are at 10 to 4 now. And um, I haven't moved. Yeah, now we've gone into players that I'm buying less. So the, the idea for me, going back to what I, was, what I was saying initially, the idea for me was... Any rewards that I win, I sell. And I've been winning the rewards. I just haven't been selling the rewards. Obviously, like, there's certain rewards you'd want to keep if they're serviceable, if they're usable, if they make sense. But there's so many players that even now, like, looking at some of the, uh, some of the cards that I've got in lineups, like, it, like, for example, look at Tengstat, right? What would have been better would buy him he, he was delightful for me. I'm very... I'm, he, he's probably one of the best overall buy, win, sell cards I've ever had. Bought him at a good discount because the guy was selling loads of uniques. Won a crap ton of rewards with him and sold him at a decent price. Very happy with that. Um, yeah, when we look at even like this game week, right, and literally look at Tengstat. Isn't he in one of my... Uh, oh, he might be in a cat mode, actually. Camos I don't really count out too much because they're going to be going soon. They're kind of my, like my second priorities. Oh, do I not even have him in the lineup? Oh, I didn't even put him in the lineup. And I probably will never put him in the lineup, right? He is just not a player that I look at. Yeah, he, he should be somebody that sells, right? He should be somebody I sell. Because like what, what my point was going to be, I thought I had him in a cat mode, right? Or I thought I had him in a Continental Knight thing because of his L15. He's 37. Um, but what I should have done is, instead of using a guy that I had, I should always have sold him in the first place and preemptively bought somebody that made more sense rather than hanging on to, like, one player for that off chance that he scores, like, 28, 30 points. I, there's probably, like, 100 different strikers for cheaper than him that will most likely score better. 
what's a reasonable upside for Teng Lo? Yeah, either alone next season or somehow manages to find his way into the first team and starts banging. I'm, I'm, again, I'm happy to go. Let's let's assume everything sold for what I've listed it for. At 58, 63, 73, 74, 77, 78. He won't sell. I'll, I'll even ignore him. 108, 110, but like literally about 110, 110 quids worth of optional sales there. And now then you ask the question, what can you get for 110 quid? Let's, let's go to somewhere that makes sense. Let's go to the MLS. Um, and let's find a forward, Benteke. Do you know what? Benteke in season for me. I think Benteke is going to have a banging season this season. And his in-season card isn't on, on the market at the moment, but 78 quid for his, uh, for his old card. How old is Benteke? Only 33. He's a baby for MLS. Is that a lot of big chance missed? But he's getting a lot of big chances, which is where it's like I watched this DC United game against New England because I'm a big fan of New England, obviously. Um, and Benteke was honestly insane. Like, I couldn't believe how good he was. Um, this game here, big chance missed, two big chances created and three goals. Then he didn't play for two games. God knows why. Three big chances missed. A big chance missed and a goal. Three big chances missed. Two big chances missed and two goals. This man, like, th there is one thing to not score goals. There is another thing to miss big chances, right? And so when, you, when I see somebody like this, I'm like, God damn, he's, he's missed how many big chances? One, four, five, eight. He's missed 10 big chances and has scored five goals in his first five games. That is an insane, insane contribution from a player because he won't keep missing big chances. I mean, he's not keeping missing big chances. He's actually scoring goals. So I, I really like the look of Benteke, especially his in-season. I think his in-season would like suit me down very, very, very well. And then, you, then I do have to kind of, I suppose, look at a little bit of like, who would I want to pair him with? Because a good midfielder could be good for him. I, I won this. Uh, I actually might even own him still. I do. Is he... Uh, is this... Oh, he's old season, I think I have, though. Yeah, last season. I won him right at the end. He doesn't look like he's like a baller, though. Who's probably like the best midfielder for them? Jared Stroud? He's doing well since the move. He's doing very reasonably well, actually. I think some of his BCMs have also been like bouncing volleys in transition, just getting opted. Click, probably. In that Premier League calibre, isn't it? Oh, yeah, look at that. See, now if I went and got in season click and in season Benteke, that's two really cool in season MLS players. But. Once again, it comes down to that situation of do I already have too many? Uh, let's go to next week. Do I already have too many contender, sorry, challenger in season players in general? And the answer is no, because obviously these three here are going to lose utility reasonably soon. All of these are going to use, lose utility reasonably soon. We've got Pellegrino, who's another good option. So if I got Pellegrino, do you know who I'd also go and get? Espinosa. I wanted him last season as well, and I didn't buy him. Oh, he is banging already. Jesus Christ. He might be expensive to pick up. He, ow.
around 100 pounds I could probably get is in season four. That's not bad at all. Espinosa, Pellegrino, Benteke. Mm, I don't have a defender then. I could still get Benteke and click anyway. I'd need to get a goalkeeper and I'd need to get a defender. So now to look at like probably who's got the best chance of who's like the best uh, goalkeepers in the MLS this season. Doesn't even have to be MLS. It doesn't even have to be MLS. It could just be like contenders, can't it? Uh, sorry, challengers. I will get it right eventually, calling it contenders and challengers. Obviously, we don't want Melier because he's going to run out of utility pretty soon. I don't really like him. Who have we got as an option here? Celentano could be a good option if he's injured right now as well. Could be a, an interesting one to kind of like pick him up whilst he's injured. Because he's he makes good saves and gets clean sheets. And then I'd also have the synergy with general MLS cards. Like, you know, in terms of game weeks, being able to always field a five. Matt Ryan, I'm not interested in. Pence, how's he doing? Bronby. Oh, damn, they've got a lot of games left. The uh, Austria's keeper as well. Nope. He's actually getting mad, mad scores, isn't he? Fair play. I think, I think, I think Celentano has a new card. Oh, no, he doesn't. Yeah, he doesn't. How come? Did he miss picture day? Zach McMath, Mantle, Akan, Weverton, Everson. Everson's not bad. It's Haber. Thanks for the 41 months, man. He doesn't have new season cards either. I suppose for in-season, it's going to have to be like some sort of MLS, I suppose. I can use my old season clock, yeah. And, and I've got... Um, uh, what's his name? Armani as well. The problem that I've got with my goalkeepers in the MLS or in the Americas in general, is they're all just really old. Uh, come out, we'll see. Mm. Do they have, like, contenders here now? No. If I just go for, like, MLS... Or even if I just go for MLS. <laughs> Got John McCarthy, Takayoka, twice, and Steve Clark. I suppose Takayoka's good. John McCarthy's not bad either. John yeah, John McCarthy's been doing very well. No, oh, one clean sheet against the Sounders. 26 AA against LA. 17 AA against Sporting. 10 AA against... St. Louis. And then what we could look at is an LA Galaxy set. Nothing major, but definitely Yoshida in season. 35 years old, maybe I don't want to be paying for his in season. If I could get his in season for 20 quid, I mean, I think Yoshida looks good at LA Galaxy. Stay away from LA Galaxy. What do you mean, me jinxer? Hey, if you know, admit, mate, I'm Mr. Fucking Podium. You need to back off. La game, game week four, six, five. How many podiums for me this week? Oh, lo load up. Sorry, Redeo. I'm trying to make a point. Sorry, Redeo, please. Game week four, six, five, two podiums. Game week four, six, four. Load up. Sorry, Redeo. I'm trying to make a point. <laughs> All right, well, I've got a podium. Yeah, podium in game week two, four, six, four. Game week four, six, three. Oh, I didn't get a podium there. That's too bad. Game week four, six, two. Another podium there. Game week four, six, one. Almost. And, and then who, who even cares about it? Like, like, I've already proven my point. Do you know what I mean? Like, I missed the podium. 
Yeah. I'm not a jinx. But, oh, Edwin Cirillo's playing at centre-back for them now, is he? That's interesting. Isn't Yamin also expected to be actually a, a good player? I think it was very harsh to get that penalty against him as well. I don't think it was a penalty. He is a decent scorer. Nothing crazy. But again, if I'm, getting, if I'm picking him up in season for cheap enough, it doesn't need to be crazy. I like Brugman. I love Ricky Pige. I still want the, uh, I don't know if the guy that offered me the Tillman is still around, but I, wouldn't, I still wouldn't mind his super rare. Price points are coming down, though. Going up for Tillman, mind you. You picked up an LA Galaxy collection like two days ago. <laughs> I, I don't necessarily want to buy like full, full stacks or collections of these teams. Like if I, it's just about pairing players together, right? If I've got John McCarthy going and getting Yoshida makes sense because if I then roll with like Espinosa and Benteke, um, sorry, not Espinosa and Benteke, Cleek and Benteke, and then Espinosa and uh, Pellegrino, just gives me really good options. Um, gives me really good options. T time to get rid of like Johnny Russell, isn't it? Just missed the injury again. And even when he's not injured, he only does all right, mate. He used to be one of the best players on the platform. Look at that. He was banging. Tunisi Ibrahim. Poor guy. Bono Miller and Herrera might be a good shout as well. Tell me about you trust him. I, I believe that Johnny Russell has the ability to still perform well in the MLS. I just think he's just way too injury prone. You know, it's, again, for a gallery like mine, a gallery my size, I have no purpose to have, like, because even when he's fit, I'm never going to trust playing him. You know what I mean? He's actually only hit three, six good scores in a year as well. He's, he's, just, he's just not worth it. He's just not worth it. I'd rather get the 30 quid for him. And, you know, that's halfway towards Benteke, for example. Um, anyway, good progress made today, actually, genuinely. And uh, hopefully, when have we got games? Obviously, we've got the Champions League tonight. First games are at 7.45 tonight. Um, hopefully, Arsenal win. Yeah, the games come thick and fast uh, this weekend, don't they? 3.36. What an obscure kickoff time. Um, I will be back. Surprised you don't have Buanga right? Yep, me too. I'll be back in like an hour or so. Oh, FIFA!